Didn't expect the evening to end like this. Neither did I. But I have not drawn you out for a romantic stroll. I wish to make certain you know what you are to do. Mm-hmm. Gotta go to Dantine. I've decided my guardsmen will support you. You will meet them at Count de la Croix Mill. It stands along the Saint Retour River, near the Cockatrice Inn. Captain de la Tour and his men will await you there at midnight. You shall storm the castle together. is hiney with honey. I don't know why. My sister saw where this one backer buried some gold coins. Wanna go fish in the channel? What will the morrow bring? Jolly. Russians, hey, 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 for you and how you much for your wood? A lot and trouble for you. Oh, hospital punishment. Hospital and values. Scrawny, gray haired, ill favored. Run, Roach. What's going on down in favor? fortifications remains unknown. Your foes have committed treason. You fight them for the good of the duchy. Captain de la Tour will give you the details. Talk to the commander. Make sure the keep quickly. Here, this way. Geralt, good you're here. Ready to attack Duntine? See you already prepared a plan. Walk me through it. We have two objectives. To find her illustrious highness's sister and capture the man who blackmailed the vampire. Duntine is a modest complex. Several old buildings, a high wall around them. At the center of the enclosure stands an imposing keep, restored not long past by the elderly knight of the castle, Roderick. We mean to strike here, through the main gate, then secure the area in front of the keep by storm. How many men defend Antine, you know? Roderick maintains a team of knights for defense. They are no army, but they could number several dozen. Also, Roderick recently took in a band of foreign mercenaries. About them we know very little. Need to hit them from both sides. You draw the defenders, keep them busy. I'll sneak in the back way, find the women, make sure they come to no harm. I'll vault over the wall as soon as you start your assault. Your plan puts you at great risk, but I sense you will handle it well. Let us go.
So it begins. Quick! We grab Roderick's horses and we bolt. We won't vault far if the boys out front don't hold. Not so fast. Little change of plans. He's looking to flee. Can't let him. I see no ducals along the road. Mm, they must not be guarding it. Roderick was right. We can flee. We'll manage. Faster! Load escape. those crates on the wagon! Hurry with those crates! But be Someone's careful here. if They've you drop back any! Wall. Come on! Kill him! Go on, lads! Oh. Beat the bum butcher! Surround him! Surround and kill! Yeah. Onward! No mercy! Beat the bum butcher! Surround him! Surround and kill! I'm a hard nut to crack! Damn company. Centrian's men, where are they? Uh, I knew. Shouldn't have let them under my roof. Where's the hostage, the woman? Uh, what? What do you mean? I know nothing about a hostage. Must, must be the handiwork of my guests. Where are they now? In... in the keep, ready in their escape. There's someone with them? Woman named Siana? Of... of course. She... she convinced me to let them in. And a whole pile of trouble along with them. Where is she? Pack... packing. We were to leave together. An old fool. I'd have done anything for her. Where is she? In the keep too? It... Yes, her chamber is in the tower, the top floor. What? What will become of me? Leaving you to the Ducal Guard, if you don't bleed to death in the meantime. Pewy, a pox upon you! Get 
giving you one last chance. Yield. The dead harlot got us into this. Kill him! Attack! shall pay for everything! Use our help. So, Witcher, this is no time to explain. Where is Renner? Expect to answer a lot of questions inside. Let us go then. I'd never let them hurt me. I just waited for you to come. I... I didn't know where to look. They threatened to kill you, I... Forgive me. I failed you. Now we need only find Anna Henrietta's sister. Where should we look? Do you know? Mm-hmm. Ran into Roderick, Duntine's lord. Told me where I'd find Sienna. Then speak and let's grab her. Time is short. Said she was in a room in the tower. Very one we're in right now. Which, incidentally, looks nothing like a prison cell. And just so happens there's a carafe full of wine here. Bet it's stolen Saint Real. What's your point? Stop playing dumb. I know everything. Your plan, that this was part of it. Witcher, what is this? Sorry, Dedlaf. You've been had. My friend, please. You must listen to what Geralt has to say. Rena's not her real name. This is Siana. And Siana is sister to Anna Henrietta, the Duchess of Toussaint. What? What nonsense is this? Siana was banished as a child, but it seems she trekked back here recently, moved into Duntine, and ran a Vandergild out of here. Sent a man called the Cintrian to Beauclair to steal some wine for her. Wine reserved for the Ducal family. Cintrian led us to her. Caught him later stealing a jewel Sian had gotten from her father as a child. Hmm. Sorry, Dedloff. She used you. Part of her plan. to 
Gresham would not explain all. If you do not, I will raise Beauclair to the ground. This I promise you. You three days. I shall be waiting. He just fly off. He did not wish to act rashly. He's gone to soothe his nerves. Think he'll do it? Make good on his threat? I cannot say. He can be unpredictable when fury consumes him. I shall go to him. Come again? After what he just... You don't know Detlaf like I do. If I don't do as he says, he truly will destroy the city. He's more than capable of it. Conscience gets to you now? Better... Uh, better late than never, right? Well, it truly does seem the best option. Your Grace, we must proceed with caution. Guardsmen saw vampires here. They could still be about. Vampires or no vampires, my sister is here. Find her. Your Grace, that... Sianna, it's true. It's you. Sister, dear, what have you gotten yourself into? So concerned, I'm surprised. Is there an ounce of truth to it? You... You feel resentment. I understand. But I promise, promise we shall work through all the unfortunate matters of the past. We will discuss them later. Captain, escort Sianna to the palace. I shall meet with her as soon as we return. As you wish, Your Grace. <clears throat> and you, Witcher. You have my thanks. I cannot believe my sister was so near the whole time. Roderick of Duntine shall answer for treason and blackmail. Roderick got duped and used. Just like the vampire. Apropos, were you able to establish who kidnapped his beloved? We've discovered Siana blackmailed the vampire. Ordered him to kill those men. What? What nonsense is this? She is his missing lover. Staged her own abduction to force him to do her bidding. He was a tool. Whole scheme was Siana's. She was behind it. You're mistaken. You must be. This cannot be true. Your Grace, I know this vampire and... What? You know him? Who is he? Detlaf. The same who so recently sat at my table and told me of Nazaire. Is there anything else you've neglected to mention? A dragon living beneath Mount Gorgon, perhaps? Is anyone else here a vampire? Where is he now? Waiting for Siana. If she doesn't show up to meet him by an appointed time, he'll destroy Beauclair. He dares threaten us? Your Grace, we have three days to bring him Siana and... Not a word. You have three days to bring me his head. No more secrets. No more helping vampires. I want what I'm paying for. The head of the beast. Do you think her grace's nerves have been calmed? Barrett rarely forgets, rarely retracts what she says, especially when threats. Yes, well, even I must admit Dead Love's actions were highly inappropriate. Reprehensible, even. Are you upset? Why would I be? Hmm, let's see. You're returning from your hunt empty-handed. No trophy. No new lead to boast of, then pursue. Upset's just not a sensation I feel. Ever. Mutations, remember. Hmm, yes, of course. 
The excuse you resort to whenever you'd rather not talk about something. Observant of you. So let's change the subject. How do your employers customarily react when you fail to meet their expectations? Uh, it depends. Peasants cuss me out. Merchants demand I refund their deposit, whereas nobles mostly just release their hounds. And rulers? Usually threaten me with the gallows. A most illustrious grace awaits the gentleman. Your grace, the population demands she be punished. Sion has committed terrible crimes. Spilt so much blood. They... Another word, Palmerin, and I shall spill even more blood. Yours. I repeat for the last time. Siana is responsible for the death of many. True. But she is also my sister. We are bound by blood and by a shared childhood. I shall not allow her to be lynched. Your Grace, I fear the masses might rise. Storm the prison. Pitchforks and torches in hand. Let them storm. They will not find her there. Siana is hidden away in a safe place. She shall await trial there until we have rid ourselves of this accursed vampire. Which, to judge by your means, has not yet come to pass. Did what we could, but... My patience is at an end, Geralt. Where is he? Where is Detlaf? Don't know. I lost his trail. Is this all you have to say? I respect your grace. All I can say is the truth. Ah. Times I hunt foxes. Do you know how it works? The ducal huntsman releases the hounds. They catch the fox's scent, chase the animal down, and lead the bachu to it. All within an hour. You, witcher, have had a week. The aid of my most excellent knights. Yet, you have tracked absolutely nothing down. I've begun to suspect my beagles might have done a better job. Then perhaps your grace should have sent a beagle instead of a witcher after the vampire. <gasps> you tread on thin ice, witcher. Very thin. Wisdom demands you choose your words more cautiously. But to the matter at hand. Have you managed to establish anything? Your Grace, it seems Siana tricked Detlaf, used him to murder the knights who escorted her into exile. We have reason to believe that... Your Grace! Vampires! What? Speak now! Vampires! Oh, they protect the city! Kept them the Latour defense the square near the boat landing, but so many lives lost. Damn it. If it's war this Detlef wants, it's war he shall have. Geralt, get to work. This time I'll hear no excuses. Palmer in you. Get her out of here.
Siana failed to appear as summoned. And there, Detloff was not making idle threats. Seems not. Need to make some serious plans of our own now. It's gone too far, damn it. Regis, you mentioned there was a way to draw Detloff out. A way you've avoided resorting to so far because you thought it was too dangerous. Is that how I put it? Do forgive me, that I've misled you terribly. The word dangerous is simply a scandalous understatement in this case. Regis, another inner monologue growing out of a personal dilemma. Just tell me how to flush Detloff out, force him to meet, please. In due course. But first, Geralt, I'd like you to consider the alternative. After all, you could fulfill Detloff's demand and liberate his beloved Siana. Think Detloff still believes Siana's innocent? I believe he suspects something. He must. And he seeks to understand what happened. And for that, he's declared war on the entire duchy? What can I say? Moderation was never his strong suit. Really want to free Siana? Hand her over to Detloff? Refuse to accept you consider that wise. It's hard to believe, I know. But Detloff is not actually evil, merely impulsive. He needs but meet with her, speak with her, and he will spare the city. Hmm. So say I agree to this, because I might. Still no chance Anna Henrietta will. I do not recall ever suggesting we ask her permission. The meeting. What if it's nothing like you say? What if it goes sour, ends in a fight? Willing to guarantee Siana won't get hurt? It seems unlikely in the extreme that... Didn't ask for a lecture on probability. Yet a simple answer. Yes or no. I vow that not a hair on her head shall come to any harm. Got serious reservations about this plan. Not least among them, we have no idea where Siana's being held. You heard the Duchess. She's not at the prison. Hardly a reservation. More of an excuse. I'm certain you'll find her. You must merely decide you wish to. Hmm. Could ask Damien. Duchess treats him like a lapdog, keeps him close most times. He might know something more. There, you see? I knew you'd think of something. Bravo. I trust I've dispelled your doubts, then. Not so fast. We're not done talking. How would I go about luring Detloff out of hiding if I wanted to? With the blood of a virgin? You see, somewhere nearby lives an unusual denizen. One of the unseen, ancient and powerful vampires. Among the oldest and strongest. Mm-hmm, and? Toussaint is this unseen elder's territory. All vampires owe him fealty while they are here. He need but say the word, designate a time and place, and Detlaf will be forced to appear. So this unseen elder, how do we convince him to summon Detlaf? We must find him first. The elder does not see arrivals unless he absolutely must. But locals, Oriana, for instance, you know, she too is a... Yeah, figured it out. All right, let's say she gets me in to see the Unseen Elder. What then? I don't know. You'll have to improvise, I suppose. Hmm. So I'm basically stuck. Either gotta give in to a blackmailer, or fight him. You know what I would opt for? Should we free Siana and arrange for her to meet with Detlaf? There's a good chance we'll all survive this ordeal. Detlaf included. Regis. Don't mean to put you on the spot, but I gotta know. Say I do decide to fight Detlaf. Who will you stand with? Should you decide your sword is the sole solution, I shall not stand in your way. Appreciate it. Certainly hope so. Now, please tell me, what is it you intend to do? Crazy as the plan seems, I'll do it. I'll ask Damien about Siana. You won't make me beg. I knew you wouldn't. Slow down. Not promising a thing. Just want to get a feel for the situation to start with. Coming with? Of course. Many hands make light work. Hurry. Damien could be in danger. Or dead. Do you think so? He seemed battle-hardened. More than a few scraps under his belt. Against humans, not monsters.
thought lesser vampires would heed a higher vampire's call and commands. As a rule, they don't. So how Detloff sick them on the city? I told you, he's exceptional. He manages to bend them to his will, control them with his thoughts. They'll continue attacking until he orders them to back down, or until he dies. Each moment's delay means another death. They broke formation. Ran. That's it. It's Damien's blood. He was wounded. Let's go. Must be in the bank. Barricaded themselves inside. I cannot let them see me. Recognize the vampire will be. Show me what you got. Manage to hold you. I'm certain you will. See, the harlot's brood came close to slaughtering you as well. Need to withdraw. You and your men. Now. My duty lies with the city. Won't help the city by leading your men to the slaughter. Damien. Conversation back at the palace, remember? I'll say it again. Your men don't stand a chance. to the wounded and prepare to march out doing the right thing now listen close silver that's what you want to use against vampires your alchemists order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can churn it out in gallons then coat your blades with it keep an eye out for alps and bruxae the shapely ones resemble women they're one moment gone the next bombs containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea Thank you, Witcher. I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. And that you'll return with the head of the wretch that did this, skewered on a hook. Got a different plan. Hmm. And what would that be? All I can say just now is I'm gonna need Siana. You know the Duchess's decision. Siana awaits her trial, in custody. We know it, but we do not agree with it. You've that luxury. I do not. I've sworn my loyalty to her grace. Folk are dying. Many more will, because of one. If her grace learns I helped you, my head will roll. And ours will follow right after it. Yet still we are prepared to take the risk. I fear we waste our time here. Come, Geralt. Wait. When? When last I saw Siana, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Playroom? As in, for children? You sure? I've served in the Ducal Palace for years. I know it's every corner. So yes, I am damn sure. Playroom? 
So what, that just locks Sienna up in a dollhouse? Honestly, I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. What you do with it is no concern of mine. Got it. I'll look into it. You get back to your barracks. Retrace my steps. Path ought to be clear. And you've our gratitude. You helped us a great deal. I helped Beauclair. At least I hope I did. Let's go, Regis. Here, the playroom's beyond this door. Locked. Of course. Regis. Rather not have a fist fight with this door. Do you mind? Not at all. your service. Hmm. Utter silence. No one here. We should look around at least. Something inside? Nope. Empty. wings off. Nice tune. Indeed. Pleasant. It's a shame the mechanism is damaged. What the? Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help. But I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Sienna gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Perhaps not so much. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Sienna does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly, girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Sianna gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna Rietta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Sienna and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna Rietta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the Land of a Thousand Fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa, who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Roquefort wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Cannabis rudelaris, for instance, or... Shh, don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here, a specialist in illusions, which means... 
Regis, last warning. Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. The girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables and utter out loud the incantation, Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. They came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but his grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm. Curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt then that she was diagnosed with the syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Siana applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Honorietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Bluda is damned, or cursed. What's Cusa? In the melodious tongue of our non-too-friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many-petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crotch. Hmm. Realize this might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Siana into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there, and isolated. We must see. Where's that book? Nothing under the carpet. Did you expect something? Apart from the dust swept under there by lazy chambermaid. Is it? Let's see. Expecto Ludum. Regis? Regis! Land of a thousand fables. Incredible. Hmm. Let's see where this road takes me. There's no way to dispel it.
That should be interesting. Bloody hell, let him out! Voices. He gobbled up my gingerbread! Now it's my turn to gobble him! Then you open it. Now, who's this? A lost traveler? You're not supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. But never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice. And you'll make a tasty morsel. Just as soon as I catch you. She doesn't doubt it. 
was that? The Wicked Witch. Well, you've heard of her, haven't you? Now, where did you put that key? Listen, I... How do you come by a weapon? It's Prince Charming's. He no longer needs it. Here it is. <coughs> Thank you. She'd have begged me for certain if you'd not... Sienna? Is that you? It's been years, Jack. Have you come to play? No, I just want your beans, so you can breathe easy. Breathe easy? Because you aren't here to play? What's that about? Jack knows what I mean, so he'll tell me where the beans are as fast as he can. Isn't that right? Sienna, I, I, I'm sorry, but, but I haven't got them. Oh, something tells me you're lying. Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all, hmm? This little picky went to market. This little picky went home. For instance. I'm telling the truth. I swear it. Anarietta, she ordered them buried all over so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I... I don't know. B but Joss, the boy with the thing for wolves. He should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. He had better know. Because if not, I'll find you and we'll have ourselves a little talk. Understand? Now shoot. Ah, all right. So why is it you're here? Searching for my lost childhood. Wound up at Care More and his little boy. Don't quite remember how. Never had any toys. Never played any games. What do you think? Why might I be here? It's Dedloff. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like Dedloff, all right. But I doubt you came all this way just to bring me up to speed on current events. So get to the point, please. Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. Me, because as soon as you meet with Dedloff, he'll put an end to the chaos in the city. You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. Now you come to beg my help, I dare say. My life is full of surprises, isn't it? But normally I'd tell you to sod off. But, from what you say, folk are dying who have nothing to do with this. Not part of the plan. Dedloff was only to kill those who deserved it. No one else. Fine, Witcher. I accept your offer. Consider us allies. Shake on it. This place... Tell me something more. It's an illusion, right? Yes. Created by Arturius Vigo. Anna, Henrietta and I would come here to play out scenes from our favorite fables. Which didn't seem like she was playing. Magical entropy. Without maintenance, the spell gradually disintegrates over time. It grows wild. Your sister chose a dangerous place for your prison. It's deceptive. Provided I don't provoke them, the fairy tale characters don't attack me. But you, you don't belong here. So you had best be on your watch. Since you brought it up, the knights Dedloff killed. What exactly did they do to you? Crespi, Dulac, Lacroix, Peyrec Perrin? Not a memory I enjoy revisiting, but I suppose you deserve to know. When my parents disowned me, they ordered those very knights to escort me beyond the duchy's borders. All did so without uttering a single word in my defense. Like you said, they had their orders. Mm-hmm. But Crespi was not ordered to beat me unconscious with a horsewhip after my first attempt at escape. And Ulak had no instructions to deny me food and abuse me. I learned something then. Knights are not so chivalrous when no one's watching. That explains a lot. Shocked, aren't you? You must have thought you had me pegged. Before bothering to hear my side. 
Everyone does that. Curse of the Black Sun. That's why you were banished, right? Mm-hmm. Twisted princesses, mutants. I'm certain you've heard of us. Even met one of you. Renfrey of Craden. And? Was she truly monstrous? She was cruel, that's certain. But what caused it? The curse or what she went through? Asking myself to this day. You killed her, didn't you? Had no choice. Funny. Mum said the same when she tossed me out of the house. So, what's with the beans? Mind explaining? Hmm, certainly. But you must gird yourself with patience. There are two ways out of this land. My darling sister blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. She made it hard, but not impossible to access by concealing the beans. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack, of Beanstalk fame. You know the tale? Jack climbed a gigantic beanstalk to a giant's castle, high up in the clouds. As we shall do if we can just find those blasted beans. There are three. One red, one blue, one yellow. Huh. Stock won't sprout from just one? No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Perhaps he will be able to help us. You lead. Joss can usually be found wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance from here, past the witch's house to the right. So, what exactly is happening in the city? Bloodshed. A massacre. Which is why we gotta hurry. You needn't fret. Time flows differently in the Fable Sphere. We can stay here a week, yet outside mere minutes will have passed. I've met. They were put here to protect the Fable Sphere from intruders. Meaning you. Unicorns! We must catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere then. I call the pink one! Exciting, isn't it? Reminds me of my childhood! Reminds me of something altogether different. Care to elaborate? Rather not. They're going to rip him in six. I shall butcher you. Ugh, 
deadly and fierce. <laughs> Not bad. That's him. Joss. Last, they're going to rip him in six. Relax, it's over. No, it's not. There's more. Another wolf behind you. Ignore him. He always lies. Aha. Uh -huh. Boy who cried wolf. Still does, I suppose. And doesn't. When they actually appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything! Not one thing! And besides, watch out! Wolves! This'll be interesting. Right, let's get to it. Let's say for a minute you know what happened to the red bean. Where wouldn't it be? For certain no one swallowed it. Oh no, definitely not that. Of course not. But say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human. The most human human in the land of a thousand fables. Everyone! Wolves! Run! Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue bean. Maybe? Not at all? Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere, out in the open. Just like that? No one guarding it? Nobody! Three times over! Help! Wolves! Yellow bean. Don't know a thing about it, right? Hmm. It's somewhere very, and I mean very deep. So deep, in fact, it's completely underground. And who has it? Hmm? A bold farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. Good folk! Wolf! Say that word one more time and I'll chop you up. Feed you to the fishes. Understood? All right, we should go. Watch out for wolves! Tough to talk to, that one. Was it, though? You need merely remember he always lies. Or more precisely, refers us the truth. Mm hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables. The meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, Piglets and Bears, three of each. And Goldilocks, of course. Then Longlocks, and a little lass who sells flint. Ah, fine. Let's get to work. Incredible. You must have loved this place. I did at first. But children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do then? Dropped a duck egg in the swan's nest once, that sort of thing. Stole the pee out from under the princess, who sleeps to this day, I think. This long locks tower? Indeed. It's even taller than I remember. Wait. What Joss said about the third beam, remember? In the possession of a bold farmhand somewhere deep beneath the ground. Yes, this must be it. Let's go. It always grapple up her braid in the past, but I don't see it anywhere. We'll find another way up. Could pull myself up here, and I'll have to make that jump. If you say so, I shall wait down here if it's all the same. Climbing's not my strong suit. <gasps> Prince's corpse. Tried to free long locks, but fell and broke his neck.
yourself down here. for nothing. So? Got the bean, but long locks. Mm. Seems she got sick of waiting for a knight in shining armor. Can you blame her? Men these days, dandies and fops all. That why you cozied up to a vampire? Dead laugh was a tool, and only a tool. Too bad he didn't know that. I trust no one. Learned that long ago. Now it's his turn. To use him. Was that your plan from the start? No. At first I was simply intrigued. Do you know the story? It was in Matina, a few years past. I'd gone there to pass some loot off to a fence I know. We were hashing out the terms when in walked Detloff. He said he'd come to sell a silver candlestick. He gripped it through a cloth. That caught my eye. I followed him out, observed him from a distance. But he caught on quickly. Yeah, superhuman senses will do that. He turned down a blind alley. I followed. He jumped out from behind a crate, baring his teeth. I suppose he'd wanted to frighten me. Alas, he didn't in the least. After all, I'm a monster too, am I not? A higher vampire and you were unimpressed? Don't know if that's brave or just plain foolish. I've always had a way with ostensibly dangerous, quiet types. That's supposed to be about me, too? Ugh, oh, Mother, I hate to disappoint you, Geralt, but your belly button is not the center of the known world. No, you do remind me of him a bit, stifling all emotions inside you, ever feigning indifference. You see, when I met Detlaf, I... Somehow I knew, call it intuition, that he meant me no harm. That he was trying to frighten me off, for he, too, was scared. Now do you understand? I guess. What happened then? We talked, then met up once, twice, three times. Enough that he became infatuated. I truly enjoyed it at first. But only at first. He did not love like a man. But like an animal, madly, deeply, unconditionally, wildly. To return such a feeling, anyone would be hard-pressed. Let alone someone as twisted as I am. So there came a day you just up and disappeared? Yes. There was no other way. Let's just be friends, or I don't deserve you. He'd never have understood that sort of thing. 
But then, once I decided to return, clean up some old affairs, I remembered him and concluded he could still be of use. Playing with fire, that. Definitely. And either I'll get burned or I'll burn all else down. No other options. Got a history with Detloff now. So this meeting will be different. Not afraid? I can handle him. Mm-hmm. Sure about that? You look at him as a witcher and see a monster. I... I know what he's really like. You needn't worry. It's time to go. Just a bit more work and we'll be able to say sort off to this fecking fable sphere. when I was a lass, but no one bought them, so I branched out. Now I deal in snuffs, puffs, all sorts of fun things. What'll you have, sweeties? Magic beans. Do you have any? If it's not the new name of some kicker I already have, dearies, then no. But maybe you'd like some. Hey, where'd you get that ribbon? That's mine. Is that so? Then why was it lying in the bushes? Find us keepers, sweetheart. The Ribbon. Mind explaining what the fuss is about? There's not much to explain. I got it from a Turius Vigo when I was a child. It was to protect me from evil. It clearly didn't work, given how I ended up. But it means a lot to you. How should I put this? I have so few mementos from my childhood, and the Ribbon reminds me of the good old days, when I was someone else. Dears. Could you continue this touching scene elsewhere, hmm? You're scaring away my customers. Give Sienna the ribbon. Why not, huh? Sugar Plum. The only thing I hand out for free is a first hit. To get them to come back for a second, of course. For all else, you've got to pay. What if I asked you nicely? Ask me nicely and I might play you for it. A round of cards? Fine. I'll pay you for the ribbon. This enough? It's enough. Now go away. All right. Tell me. What? What you want in return. You're not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Don't want anything in return. I... Hmm. Thank you. The Three Little Pig Songs. Well, you know the story, don't you? Who's afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? Looks like Big Bad's already blown down the houses of straw and sticks. Brick's the only one left. We should look inside. Remember Joss's words? Mm -hmm. One bean lies out in the open, guarded by three nobodies. Yeah, could be it.
The big bad witcher huffed and puffed, and look, got a bean. It cannot be. What cannot be? You actually have a sense of humor. Stunted a bit, but yeah, it's there. Well, well, aren't you full of surprises? What else are you hiding behind that gruff exterior? Not a bad singer. Do a pretty mean rendition of the Maids of Vicovaro, for instance. But some other time, maybe. But here we are chatting away when there's work to do. We must keep looking. So, do you like it here? No. Got a problem with magic in general. Illusions, portals... Don't trust any of it. A bow of old-fashioned tastes, eh? I like that. I adored her. My darling little sis. So adorable. So sweet. Yet when they banished me from the palace, she didn't so much as peek out of the window. She might not have known. Maybe just couldn't. And could she also not grant me amnesty when she was crowned? Please. I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. Oh, Siana, a bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. But, 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 what brings you? You could always have a drink with us. What? No! Not on your life! I can barely stand, I'm so hungover! You know what they say about the hair of the dog? Out of the question! And why must you drink? Do you wish to drown some sorrow? And I don't mean to pry, but you don't look much like a young duchess to me. They stripped me of my title and birthright, then banished me. A family spat, let's say. Listen, looking for magic beans. Seen any? Mm, I was given one for safekeeping, but... Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Uh, right there, the threats. Siana to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, Little Red Riding Hoods popped her clogs. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. Should <laughs> now what's at the bottom of the well, she and the hunter which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you. Not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sod off. Hmm. Wolf's pretty cranky. Surprised? Think about it. He was cast in the role of the nemesis without ever asking for it. It's a dog's life, I tell you. So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. Or rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. A piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. That's a relief. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. Well, chop chop. Time to 
to jump in the well. Break a leg. Any luck? Yep. Look what I got. That would never fit you. Give it to me. How do I look? Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And you, the hunter. Again? I thought I was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you! Not a problem. Sienna can take her place. What? <sighs> Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Granddaughter! Come closer, sweetie. But, Grandmama, what? Big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. Granny, what big arms you have. The better to embrace you with, my dear. And Grandmama, what big teeth you have. Eh? The better to eat you with, my dear. Ah! Ah! Ugly and fierce. Yeah. Joss said about the red bean. A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm-hmm. Gotta open his belly. Bottle caps, fake teeth, a corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Ah, at last we have them all. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Are you really not interested in what happened? In what became of me after they cast me out? 
Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. They had escorted you out of the duchy. Yes. And the noble knights of Toussaint, I didn't stop until we reached the Ketdu wilderness. They left me there alone, without a copper, in a torn lace dress, right when the frosts were setting in. They assumed something would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees. A campsite. They were bandits, bearded, drunk, spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me. Or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in, we set off for Nazaire, and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly. Eventually, I became their leader. Of the whole ragged band. Should have stayed there, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps I should have forgotten everything, started a new life. But you know what? There came a point when I thought, you wanted a monster, then a monster you shall get. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had our chat. Come. Right, this is the spot. Pull out the beans. Wait! Why? This stalk will sprout abruptly. Very abruptly. We must be careful. All right! Toss them!
Something's always gotta go wrong. The home stretch. Admire the view later. First, we must deal with... Him.
fairy tale creature. That was one tough son of a wench. I told you this land had gone ape mad, though I did not expect it to be so severe. Can't help thinking you might have done that on purpose. Why ever would I have? To get rid of your guard, your captor. Getting close to the exit at this point. Probably think you don't need me anymore. Well, you're wrong. You still stand to be quite useful to me. That so? How? Plan to use me like you did Detloff? No, I need you for a purpose far simpler. Well, don't just stand there and stare. I need a man, Geralt, and I'm not afraid to say it. I have no idea what awaits me once we leave this place. Treat it as my last wish. separate ways. No parting words. Did you wish to tell me something? Actually, that'd probably be best. Oh my. No woman's ever treated you this way. Not that I recall, no. In that case, at last you felt what so many women in this world feel at times. <sighs> I just hope this tale has a happy ending. For me, for you, for everyone. That may very well depend on you. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing beyond what you heard. For now. Come. The exit's this way. Trusted. Just curious. Why do you want the heart of Toussaint and the ducal wine? They were my right, my due. Doubt we would have figured you out if you hadn't tried to get them. You know that, don't you? I do, and I regret nothing. One lives but once. Here, we need but jump into the well. You first.
portals in a fountain? Not terribly practical. It was a secret passage. Anariette and I would use it to... Hide from your governess. Which luckily she noted down in her diary, thus I knew where to await you. Never mind that. Has the young lady agreed to help clean up the mess she's made? She has. And stop treating me as if I were a child. Would you prefer I treated you like the lying manipulator you are? Calm down, both of you. But... No buts. Let's go. Really want to be done with this. Nice place, isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. Is it, though? A ruin like any other, I think. Ah, uh, so sensitive. So aware. Honestly, what did Declaf ever see in you? Perhaps he'll tell you himself. Mm-hmm. It's always a bit nerve-wracking meeting an ex. Especially so when said ex is a vampire. I doubt he'll be in the mood for jests. I know. Oh, may I be honest? Yes. I'm nervous. I really would prefer just to run off. I gave my word I would help, I know. But how much is that worth? Yet I owe him this meeting. And that is that. Let's get ready. Dedloff will be here any moment now. Not that simple. I... Oh no. It's very simple. You either deceived me or not. In forgiving you, I grieve. For now, we must part. What? But how? I've been fooled again. She will pay for this sooner or later. She will pay! You never should have meddled with her!
Shut up, boss! Did you silence me? Both of you! Didn't plan no. it. Silence!
Leave him to me. Be gone. I can't let him. I insist. What a smashing ensemble. You wear it well. Shut up. I look like a twit. The caftan is sewn of the best fabrics available, and according to the best tailoring practices. But one must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. Rather not bicker about taste. Don't like to. It's neither interesting nor productive. This particular Witcher has an inborn intolerance for formal occasions. Yet he's to attend just such an event shortly. I expect that's the source of his prickliness. So try not to take things personally, Master Taylor. Rather pity him. For in truth, stage fright overwhelms him. He trembles at the thought that he has no notion how to behave in the presence of Her Grace's Majesty. Hmm. As well he should. All that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera, demands appropriate attire. The Duchess cannot be expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud. Palace protocol places enormous emphasis on form, virtuous tradition, etiquette. Huh. A tradition which values appearances ahead of all else, which calls for lordly glistening triviality, and misplaced generosity. Sound wistful. Pensive, Regis. That because they refuse to buy you a new outfit? Hardly. It's the tone I ever adopt when I find myself pondering, which, believe it or not, happens quite a lot. Besides, I've no need for a new outfit as I shall not be attending the ceremony. Why not? Because unlike you, I don't have to. I shall begin to pack my belongings instead. I trust you'll join me later, once you're richer by a medal and a fascinating new experience. Count on it. Hmm. Ceremonies. Medals honoring virtues. Just keeps coming up. I've had no reprieve either. And I keep thinking of the last great virtue, compassion. It's the one piece of the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues theory? After all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her, surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. 
Her plans don't matter now. Can't act on them. Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. Do you care not a whit who else was in her black book? We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot-cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victims' names to Detlaf. Perhaps we missed something. Regis, Boot Black didn't say anything about making deliveries when we talked to him. How do you know he handled the letters? While you basked in glory and tried on new formal wear, I conducted a little investigation of my own. You'd be very proud to see how I conducted myself. I began by concocting an ample supply of boot wash for our enterprising young friend. I'd observed that among street folk, amidst their society as a whole, reciprocity takes precedence over all other codes, and thus no good deed goes unrewarded. Of course, the same holds true for malicious or destructive deeds. The letters. What's the connection? When the boot black arrived to collect his bucketful, he hinted he knew more. Simply put, we'd failed to ask the proper questions when we chatted earlier. It took a bit more tongue loosening, but ultimately he spoke. He admitted he'd handed Detlaf the letters. He knew this information was valuable to me. In providing it, he was simply repaying me. All in all, why not check up on that? We'll go together, assuming we're done here. I am done, yes. It lies in your hands now to see if you are able to present my handiwork at the ceremony with the dignity it is due. Or if you will first destroy it, crawling about the city's underbelly. Promise to be careful. Oh, it's the swordsman! Good to see you. Here for a spiffing? Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Step on up! Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on, then. I'm a proponent of free speech, and I will gladly tell you all I know. But why not get your boots shanked while we jabber? Guess they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the souls that wear them. Clean boots, clean souls. A fine slogan. How's business? Well enough. I can't complain. Though it'd be even better for certain folk to sit down for a shine as they stood and chatted. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young. Got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beckers brought them. Beggars. Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. It was different. Some had mismatched boots, others had no boots at all. Oh, I know! They all had no home! Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Remember what they looked like? Of course. I have a mind like a steel trap, as I said. They were ragged, unshaved. Their clothes were tattered. As to their boots, well, I mentioned that already. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that boot shine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. We must visit the shelter. Look around inside. You've to move your little camp elsewhere, got it? 
This is a decent district. We need no filth folk flying about. Gentles, there's no need to raise your voices. Let's keep our calm. Our calm is exactly what you disturb. You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Scram! Decent folk live here. The shelter, them living here, bothers you. Question is why. Look, Ballard. Another defender of the poor, fighter for justice. Damn nuisance. We for our women and young folk living next door, when even grown men fear to walk past such rabble. Decent folk you mention, mean yourselves. Why? Do you doubt it? Hell yes. Hear that, Artois? He poking insults us. On our own turf. We should step aside, good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. No. Just running about town. I almost dumped my guts. <laughs> Fucking Twitter, not a Witcher. Oh, Take a hint. Come, time to go. I thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk, the shelter, elsewhere. They dislike that I help the beggars. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to aid you. What is this place? Poor house? You could call it that. They come here to rest and eat a hot meal. You help them, why? Because they need help. Need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Garl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently, or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait, they'll all soon come for their meal. You can question them yourselves. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve this soup. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romain? Why should I squeal? We were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me, Romain. You were given a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romain. Thank you. Who else? I got the one too. I gave it to the boot black. And Freshy, he got one. But he can't tell you. As he's not here. 
I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the Feast of St. Barnabas. It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over, or I'll take it from you, plain and simple. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said, and she was frightening. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. These men helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. Damn it. What is it? Another name, truly? See for yourself. Well, well. I... I must say, even I did not expect this. This time you will see to our Duquesa. It seems we underestimated Siana rather grossly. Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling. Puzzle complete now. Alas, the matter's ceased to be a tantalizing brain tease and has turned incredibly grave. We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'etat. Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Siana planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Four seemingly random victims to start. The virtue's their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions, ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Siana murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? from an inborn pension for evil? Yes, yes and yes. All seem likely, and none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you could always ask her yourself. Actually, love to learn her motives. Praiseworthy, I suppose. Sometimes one should stare evil in the face. Seems a bit strong, no? She used my friend as her tool for killing. I believe I've every right to condemn her, but I support your lust for the truth. Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment. Much harsher. Think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her coming with? Of course not. I shall await you at Mayor Lachey's long. I'll not risk entering the palace after Detlaf and his minions rampage. Besides, I vastly prefer the company of a simple mug of mandrake brew to that of the Duchess's vile sister. So, said straight up, it means you're going off to get drunk because you hate Siana. I've never been fond of categorical statements of that kind, but I admit I could not vouch for my behavior in her presence. She treated Detlaf cruelly cause his death in the end, and now this, atop all that, no, Geralt. I will not go with you. I will await you at the cemetery. Need to see Siana urgently. In the matter of? 
Need to interrogate her. New facts have come to light. Need them explained. Seeing she was planning your Duquesse's assassination. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Then you for my permission, but only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief. The Witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Have you come to see how I fare? I'm fine, thank you. Artorius's Ripon worked wonders. It's a shame they took it from me I for... know who the fifth victim was supposed to be. Goodness, you're simply a compulsive snoop. I'm in prison. Deadlaf is dead. Could you not just drop it? Siana, stop pretending you couldn't care less. I know it's an act, and it's really starting to wear. Why do you want to kill her? For such an accomplished investigator to ask about the obvious? Come now, Geralt. Why do you think? Because she turned her back on you? Then banished all memory of you. Bravo, Geralt. Yet another riddle solved, and your sick curiosity sated. Well, what now? Off to share your discovery with Anna Henrietta. Though she's no longer in danger, true. But she very well might add a little something to your reward. Definitely gonna tell her. Not necessarily for the coin, though. Then why do it at all? She ought to know. If only because you'll probably try to kill her again if she ever lets you out. I probably will. Perhaps, just for a second, you could stop dwelling on all the wrongs folk have done you, and forgive her? Why should I? For old times' sake. You loved each other once. <sighs> Please. I don't know who fed you that rubbish, but... Read your governess's diary. You played together, were inseparable. Honoria'd get you into trouble sometimes, sure. But there were also times she stood up for you. When you had nightmares, only she could calm you. Time eats away at memories, distorts them. Sometimes we only remember the good. Sometimes only the bad. If she loved me so, why did she wash her hands off me? Forget me, hmm? Sienna, you were exiled when she was how old? Twelve? Thirteen? She was a child. What was she supposed to do? Rebel? Organize a coup? Steal your father's seal and forge a pardon? She was powerless. Wiped you from her memory not because she didn't care, but because your departure was traumatic for her. She forgot because that was the only way she could handle the pain. Ugh. You meant what you said in the Land of a Thousand Fables. You really want a happy ending to this story, don't you? Ugh. With all of us living happily ever after. Go, Witcher, or they'll give your medal to another. That would be a shame. Farewell, Siana. Commander de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Let's go. Wanna see him too. Damien. Geralt! It's about time! Ready for the ceremony! All right. We can start. Very well. But you must behave. Less like a hired thug, 
and more like a man deserving of the Duchy's highest honor. In fact, you'd do best to maintain a dignified silence throughout. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. In the Guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your Grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, slayer of the beast of Beauclair, step forth. We bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the ducal table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? Feels like a second distinction. I'm honored. Thank you. I trust you shall make good use of it. In a moment I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, yet you also showed me her horrendous deeds. As head of state, I must judge her fairly, but she is my sister. Thus my heart bleeds for her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. The Witcher will take part in our talk. The Duchess requested I be present. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Thus I have asked Geralt to advise me. As one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. Bitterness consumes Siana. 
She had cause to resent many of the court of Beauclair. I know her reasons, understand them even. But I can't condone the actions she chose to take. What is he talking about, Sianna? You know exactly what. I was forcibly exiled, remember? To your benefit. You knew well the throne would then be yours, though I was the Elder. The ministers I can understand. They'd hated me since I was a child, thought me a poor prospect for the wife of a duke. I even understand our parents. I'd always sensed the problem. They simply feared me, for I dared to be free. That fabricated curse, it fell into their laps. A gift from above that brought relief. But you... Your dagger hurt most. You were my honorietta, dammit. My darling little sister. Now do you understand, Witcher? She betrayed me. Claim to understand them all? Why'd you come back for revenge? Have them all cut down, then? They deserved my vengeance. They detested me, all of them, as long as I can remember. But Honorietta understood me. Once. She was all I could cling to. Her betrayal hurt the most. You were children then. You and your sister both had no control over what happened. You're wrong, Witcher. She had control. Remember, dear sister, the day they banished me from the palace. Of course, I'd had the idea to pelt the Nilfgaardian envoy with fish bladders, which we filled with rancid suet on a lark. And which you set afire at the last to impress me, I imagine. And I admit, you did. Hit him right in his hideous bold patch. Never laughed so hard in my life. But when it came time to find the culprit, you said not a word. I took all the blame and all the punishment. It's true. I did not stand up for you. I was too afraid. The council was unanimous. They listed all my offenses, my flights from the palace, Supposed acts of cruelty, inappropriate friendships. They cast me out, but you, the only one to understand me. You cowered in a corner, lifted not a finger to help. Not before, not after. You never tried to find me. That's not true. I searched for you. Sent out knights, gathered tidings from without. You did not wish to be found. Since the day you vanished, I have lived with the knowledge that I failed you. I'm sorry, dear sister. Can you forgive me? ceremony it was short perhaps for you as you ducked out early the others are probably just getting started the drunkenness never ends in this quaint realm not so fond of Toussaint after all are we oh this place is like a strong wine Geralt good in small sips How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile. 
and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. This moonlight makes me oh so dreamy. Penny for your thoughts. Let me guess. Succubus twins? Uh, no, I was thinking about... Oh, how anything can look interesting when properly lit. Even an old necrophage corpse? You've not an ounce of refinement in you, have you? Sucker go. Won't be easy to track down. He's a vampire after all. Regis! Damn it, where'd you go? Say, they called you a traitor. Alas, we have a very simple code of honor, we vampires. So simple you might call it trivial. Either one is with us, unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or... Won't let it go, will they? They will not. Fortunately, we have another rule. An unwritten one, and just as trivial as the first. It is neatly summarized in the saying... Out of sight, out of mind. That is why I must leave Toussaint. For a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. Oh, let us make for my camp. I have an overwhelming desire to have another drink. Mmm, supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning, then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home, on the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? Know what? Think I just might. Come on now, don't laugh. Maybe not today or tomorrow. But one day I'll want to see what it's like to just wake up every day in my own bed. Oh, stop, please. Sounds so sentimental, my fangs have begun to hurt. Then what? Will you begin writing your memoirs like Dandelion? I can remember a night, not too far from here if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? we just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. But that first stay in Beauclair, far calmer than this one. 
Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellar's too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances, like mamoons and Dopplers, deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. What about you? Any idea where you'll go? Distance is of the essence. I thought I might venture south. Nilfgaard? Why ever not? The Nilfgaardians are a modern society. None there believe in vampires anymore. This fact alone could be very useful to one wishing to remain incognito. Hmm. Interesting point of view. I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do. to go home. Slow now. With that one. We would stump till we were red and sweaty. Master Witcher, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. What's that smell? You look good. Calm. Don't just stand there. I want a hug. What did you bring? A Garkin from Angren. I slew it. All by my lonesome. That why you left Carrera so suddenly? Had no idea where you'd gone. Your note was puzzling. Don't try to find me. Threw me for a loop. <laughs> that was silly. It's just that I felt... 
stifled in your shadow. I'd have suffocated had I stayed. So when I read that notice, the contract, when I saw Angren, I knew I had to do it. Alone. Without my nanny. I'm not your nanny. I believe in you. <laughs> like my new house? The house is lovely. But it could use a bit of work. Yeah. Got plans for it, don't worry. Wanna go outside? Could show you the grounds. Ah, oh, it's lovely here. I could stay forever. What's stopping you? Actually, not a thing. I slew a Garkin, collected my bounty. I believe I'm owed some respite. Indeed you do, mademoiselle, as my major domo would say. <laughs> You've a butler? A steward. Name's Barnabas Basil. BB for short, though I don't know if he likes it. He's the one let you in. I'll ask him to bring in some fruit, a beverage. You can spend the rest of the day lying about. Ah, oh, nothing would make me happier. Being a witch or anything like you imagined? Geralt, I didn't have to imagine anything. Remember, before we parted, we walked a good stretch of the path together. Journeyman and master, though, not the same thing. I'm still a long way from mastering anything, but I am trying. Anyway, I did learn from the best. Just passed on what worked for me, or at least tried to. I was thinking of Eskel and Lambert. <laughs> so, no regrets? Choice you made? Not at all. I'm doing what I ever wanted to do. Being who I wanted to be. I believe that's one definition of happiness. Encountered the most charming aspect of being a witcher yet? Which aspect is that? The hatred. Disgust. That strange blend of admiration, fear, and contempt. Hmm. They set their hounds on me in one village. In another, they forbade me from taking a drink from their well. Other than that, it's been all right. No one's tried to cheat me out of my reward so far. I'd hoped they'd treat a woman differently. Geralt, when they treat a woman differently in this world, it hardly ever means better. Quite the opposite. Angrin, how'd it go? Garkanes can be pretty tough opponents. That's why I had to lure this one to a place both spacious and empty, where it would have nowhere to hide. I found an abandoned crypt far from any town or village. Good choice. Always best to avoid additional casualties, so your foe had nowhere to hide. But the bastard was still damn quick, I bet. <laughs> Not as quick as I am. My greater worry was its strength. I was far outclassed there. But a dose of black blood did the trick. We fought a while, I feigned a mistimed dodge and let it drink. The rest was easy. See you later, Siri. Take care of yourself. in a fountain? Not terribly practical. It was a secret passage. Anariette and I would use it to... Hide from your governess. 
which luckily she noted down in her diary, thus I knew where to await you. Never mind that. Has the young lady agreed to help clean up the mess she's made? She has. And stop treating me as if I were a child. Would you prefer I treated you like the lying manipulator you are? Sienna, you've already run afoul of one vampire. Don't start a fight with another, all right? Then tell said other vampire to stop taunting me. I shall do my utmost. Let's go. Really want to be done with this. Nice place, isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. Is it, though? A ruin like any other, I think. Ah, uh, so sensitive. So aware. Honestly, what did Deklav ever see in you? Perhaps he'll tell you himself. You nervous? Mm-hmm. It's always a bit nerve-wracking meeting an ex. Especially so when said ex is a vampire. I doubt he'll be in the mood for jests. I know. Oh, may I be honest? Yes. I'm nervous. I really would prefer just to run off. I gave my word I would help, I know. But how much is that worth? Yet I owe him this meeting. And that is that. Let's get ready. Dedloff will be here any moment now. Not that simple. I... Oh no. It's very simple. You either deceived me or not. In forgiving you, I grieve. For now, we must part. <sighs> A shame. Sienna! What I had to do. What she deserved. Beauclair will know peace once more. The vampires will have left the city by dawn. I shall leave as well. Go far away, far from men. You can try to stand in my way. Then I shall kill you both. 
Though that is not at all my will, the decision is yours. You can go, but if ever we meet again, I shall keep my distance, believe me. Geralt Regis, farewell. I'm sorry. I swore to protect her, I know, but, but... But it happened so fast. What have we done? Let a killer walk. Isn't that what you wanted from the start, though? We have to let Anna Henrietta know. Geralt, you will face... I know. All the same, we have to inform her. Hey there, Geralt of Riffia. What do you want? Me? Not a thing. <laughs> Name's Handsome Jacques, and I've already got it all. What I wonder is if there's anything you'd need. What can you get me exactly? Exactly. <laughs> anything a patron of this little auberge might desire. From decent fiddles that won't stew your innards to a dab of fisty to make you fly. Even brought in a slinky piece of arse once. A boarder claimed to suffer from glandular overactivity or some such. You see, out there beyond the walls, I'm a lowly dog's body. But here, in the kingdom of the clink, I'm the cling. Can't readily think of anything. Come now, me. We all need something. You've just not been in here long enough to know. You know me? How? No. That's a stretch. No, I wouldn't say that, no. But I do know they've assigned you to the laundry, same as me. And I know what you're in for, your dastardly deed. Then again, I know that about every jester who winds up here. Hmm. Kinda curious to know what you know, or think you know. The Duquesa hired you to find the butcher of Beauclair, and you did, but then you let him butcher dear Anarietta's sis. Then this brute simply vanished, dropped off the face of the earth, though in his case turned to vapor might be the better phrase. Hmm, seemed pretty well informed. Best informed mutt in this kennel paws down. Duquesa's cross, no doubt, while you await your trial. Though she never seemed concerned for her sister before. Since you seem to know so much, tell me one last thing. My sentence. What'll it be? <laughs> None can tell you that. Anarietta's a fickle cocotte. There's just no knowing which teach she's like to flesh. But I'd advise against escape. You're a prisoner among many now. Take flight, though. Make it out. Public enemy number one. Why'd they lock you up? Ah, uh, hodgepodge. I had no domicile, but had to winter somewhere, so I robbed the shopkeeper. Couldn't have made a worse mistake. The penalty was a fine, an amount I couldn't pay, so they swished it to lashes, meted out on my bum. After that, I shifted course, started pinching bigwigs' noses. Cut the tail of Count Beauvieux's steed. Got a year and a half for that. My next exploits had to be grander, even greater wrongs. So I carefully chose my victim, Marshal de la Steak. Filled his cask with dung from between my very own cheeks. That got me three years of free room and board. I'll pull another prank as soon as they let me out. Made it a career. It's become my way of life. We're gonna report for this laundry duty. Rather get it over with. Away we go. 
Personally, I'm pleased we're assigned to it. Those rags stink like sick in the sun, but you get used to it. And when you're working, you get more bread. Don't get my dander. I've no clue, because but we're better off chomping grass. I'll get we'll off get your dander if you get my drift. You told him that, did you? I sure did. I haven't had a speck of trouble no, with that sausage that you were selling had no right to be called his food. Lesson. That was worse I than rat poison. Rubbish! Well-aged meat. That's all it was. <laughs> Your aged meat had half of Tucson galloping to the privy. That's because our courtiers have the bellies of colicky newborns. Should have sold your slop to peasants, then. Are you daft? First, peasants make their own food. And second, nobles pay a spitload more. Dollar, then, they lived happily ever after this. Mm, you're big. You're bad, wolf. Would you be my lifting buddy? Laundry's the most important corner of this coop. Take it away, remove it, we'd be no different from the rest. Pack the dirty rags in the tub. I'll see to the suds and water. Take the stick and stir the rags. Water's almost boiled. Who have we here? The guardian of gutter snipes locked in the clink. How did that happen? My, my. What could the Duchess's favorite have done to deserve this? Back off. I'm busy. Hear that? The laundry wench is busy. Yet I fear we have a matter to resolve. Remember our meeting, boot black bodyguard? You go ahead and cheat. I'll be back once you're done. <sighs> Thanks for sticking around to help, Jacques. You're in the coop, mate. Only one thing counts here, survival. Folk don't stick their necks out for anyone besides themselves. Boo-hoo. He left you all alone. Come on. Be constructive. Make yourselves useful. Yes, we should see to the wash, or they'll put us in confinement. Hey! The mutants trying charms on us. Can't you see? Your tricks won't work here, lad. You cannot mesmerize all three of us at once. Grab yourselves washboards, boys. Not allowed that kind of beating beast is over. I'll take him from the left. Bat move. What is going on here? Nothing. I'm not asking you, but the one on the floor. Have you anything to say? I slipped on some soap. You slipped on soap? Lots of soap here. It is a laundry. Harlots, brutes. Solitary for the lot of you. You'll have ample time to consider. Think about the choices you've made in life. I'll make certain of it. 
Didn't do anything to deserve solitary. Shut it! Milton was my cousin. You let him die. Was the Duquesa's coin not enough? Did you expect more to save a good man's life? Arrived too late. Nothing I could do. And when the beast tore apart the Duquesa's sister? Too late then, too? Were it up to me, you'd have hanged already. And don't you try any witcher tricks on me. You will end oh so badly if you do. Here of your own free will, Stefan? Or did they lock you up too? Bet you're thinking about food. What you'll eat once you're free. Mutton leg. That's what I'm dreaming of. Well roasted on the outside, nice and juicy in the middle. Are you the lout from Rivia? Yep, I'm that lout. Come with me. You're to be sentenced. To what? To shut it. What am I, the town crier? Hands behind your back. Now let's go, and no funny business. Get ready. Soon all your problems will be solved, once and for all. Do you know where this leads? No. Hope it's the exit, though. You guessed it. The thing is, there are different kinds of exits. Some walk this path to freedom. Others walk it straight into eternity. Which am I headed for? I don't know. Yet one thing is certain. You will never walk this path again. Mark Dubois, you are hereby judged guilty of trampling Alice Valref, the cupbearer's wife, while on horseback. The woman's condition is critical. It was an accident. I was riding fast, it's true, but she jumped out in front of me. In light of the above, there can be but one sentence. Death by decapitation. No, I didn't do anything! Help! There must be witnesses! Off with his head. Next! Paul, the Witcher, take him to the tower. That's an order. An order's an order. Guess you're not next after all. Follow me. You're supposed to follow me. Why do you make me watch that execution? So you'd know this is no almshouse for lost orphan boys. Wanted me to think I was next. Enjoy that? Getting a rise out of folk? You guessed it. The harlot's hounds that land here, I detest them. So I do everything in my power so they'll know they're in the clink, not on holiday. I've brought the prisoner, sir. Unbind him and leave us. Greetings, Witcher. Your face doesn't look good. Though, looked even worse last time I saw you. I apply an Arnica extract. I can hardly feel it anymore. But my scars pale in comparison to the fate Siana met with. The fate that was your doing. I trusted you. And how did you repay me? Consider it, Witcher. Why do you think the Duquesa had Siana hidden away to start with? Can you guess? I'm sorry. Might not believe me, but... Couldn't have predicted that turn of events. Certainly never wanted that. Enough. We shall speak of it no more. Guess there's been a decision in my case. Truly? Is that all you care about? Your own hide? Not only. Also care how the Duchess feels, for example. And I hope that, unlike you, she doesn't blame this all on me. A court hurt your case, not Anna Henrietta. The facts are as follows. You were hired to kill the beast. Not only did you fail in that endeavor, but you also caused the death of our Duquesa's sister. Have I missed anything? I'll have you know that were it up to me, you would rot in our dungeon until your dying day. Glad you didn't have the deciding vote then. At any rate, 
I am not the best person to tell you what was decided in your matter. I'd say the man who worked hardest to tip the scales in your favor should. What are you talking about? What man? Dandelion? Sheesh, Geralt. You look like you've seen a ghost. A ghost wouldn't have surprised me half this much, I promise you. What are you doing in Beauclair? Officially? Visiting Honorietta. That is to say, the Duchess. We're old friends, ah, but you know that. Unofficially, I'm saving your Heine. You? You're a persona non grata in Toussaint. Undesirable. Didn't stop me from risking my skin for you. In my book, friendship is all that matters. Well, friendship and love. And art. Oh, and wine. How'd you even know I was in prison? Regis came to see me right after they locked you up. I mean, Regis, right? <laughs> Can you believe that? To come back after... Amazing. Uh, he told me everything, and naturally, I couldn't possibly leave you to rot in there. Take it I'm free, thanks to you. How'd you manage it? Oh, I have my ways. Took a little persuasive logic. Blended in some deft rhetoric, then added a generous pinch of charm. And voila! You're free! But just so you know, it wasn't easy. In fact, it was pretty damn hard. Duchess was so furious, I think she even forgot she'd banished me from Beauclair. For life! All she could do was scream that you'd never set foot outside that dungeon again. How'd you get her to take a fresh look at things? I appealed to the faultless intentions that guided you. To your reputation, your accomplishments, and... Well, ultimately, she changed her mind, and you're free. Never wants to see you again, but even got her to leave your vineyard with you. You won't get a copper of your promised reward, but you'll keep your estate. Dandelion, you're a regular master of diplomacy. Thanks. Listen, you do whatever needs doing, but I've got to get to the cemetery. Henrietta's in bad shape with Sienna dead. Some folk forget that under the ducal regalia, she's just an ordinary woman who's lost a loved one. Been meaning to ask you, how's Priscilla? All right. Recovering steadily from the horror she's been through. So, you two, you're still... Of course we are. How could you even think it was otherwise? No idea. Just within the realm of possibilities. But please be careful not to lead Anna Henrietta on. Suggest you've come here for any reason beyond getting me out of my predicament. The bond between the Duchess and myself is one of pure friendship, nothing more. Now, off to console a friend in need. All right, see you later. See you, Geralt. Off we go. You'll collect your things at the door. Exit. Open the gate! Your things are past the first gate. Take to leave the room. I don't really give a fig. Don't smile so wide. Someone's liable to see. Could mean trouble. I can't help myself. Just so glad to see you. Glad to see you too, my vampire friend. Thanks for getting Dandelion to come out. It was nothing. True, he was not at first terribly eager to face the Duchess, but I managed to persuade him his person was indispensable. Well played. Dandelion loves being indispensable. Yet he so rarely is, poor man. What did you do while I... Uh... While you vegetated in that correctional facility? I used the time to think. 
wish to know what I thought about? Of course. The relationship between two numbers. Declaf's four victims and the five chivalric virtues. As you've no doubt noted, there's a difference of one. Mean to tell me, after all we've figured out, that you now believe in the whole five virtues punished theory? Belief's got nothing to do with it. It's cold logic, deduction. Siana went to great lengths to make folk believe the beast was punishing those who betrayed the virtues. Were I in her shoes, I'd make sure the number of victims matched. Are you not at all curious who was meant to be the fifth? If I say yes, what then? Then you'll come with me for another chat with the boot black. You see, I've learned he delivered the notes to Detlaf. Our search starts with him. Fine, see what he has to say. Could use a good walk, work out the kinks if nothing else. Come then. Some beast et you up, then spat you out. Are you here for a spiffing? Boots make the man, they say. Step on up! Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on, then. I'm a proponent of free speech, and I will gladly tell you all I know. But why not get your boots shanked while we jabber? Not wearing boots just now, but guess I could pull a pair on. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the souls that wear them. Clean boots, clean souls. A fine slogan. How's business? Well enough, I can't complain. Though it'd be even better for certain folk to sit down for a shine as they stood and chatted. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters. Remember? Why, of course. I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beckers brought them. Why didn't you tell us this before, when we first talked? You didn't ask about beggars now, did you? Beggars. Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. It was different. Some had mismatched boots, others had no boots at all. Oh, I know. They all had no home. Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Where'd they get the letters? They picked them up? Get them from someone? I don't know. They'd come, hand me a letter, and walk away. I asked no questions. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that bootshine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. We must visit the shelter. Look around inside. Decent district. We need no filth folk bumming about. Gents, there's no need to raise your voices. Let's keep our calm. 
Our town is exactly Nothing to what you disturb. Sammy reeks around Your here. vagrants bring pestilence. Take work from honest folk and sponge off ducal relief. My folk do not harm me so. And they've nowhere else to go. We don't give a flying fart. You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Scram! Decent folk live here. The shelter. Them living here bothers you. Question is why. Look, Ballot. Another defender of the poor. Fighter for justice. Damn nuisance. We for our women and young folk living next door. When even grown men fear to walk past such rabble. Decent folk you mention. Mean yourselves. Why? Do you doubt it? Hell yes. Hear that, Artois? He poking insults us. On our own turf. We should step aside, good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. Are you well, my friend? What... What happened? Well, I saw your opponents gain the upper hand, so I took the liberty of jumping in. They shan't bother us anymore. We can now have a calm conversation with the proprietor. I thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk, the shelter, elsewhere. They dislike that I help the beggars. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to aid you. Need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Garl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently, or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait, they'll all soon come for their meal. You can question them yourselves. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. My dears, I've a matter to address before I serve this soup. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romain? Why should I squeal? We were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me, Romain. You were given a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romain. Thank you. Who else? I got one too. I gave it to the boot black. And Freshy? He got one. But he can't tell you. As he's not here. I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the Feast of St. Barnabas. It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over, or I'll take it from you, plain and simple. 
But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said, and she was frightening. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. These men helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. What is it? Another name, truly? See for yourself. Well, well. I... I must say, even I did not expect this. This time you will see to our Duquesa. It seems we underestimated Siana rather grossly. Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling. Puzzle complete now. Alas, the matter ceased to be a tantalizing brain tease and has turned incredibly grave. We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'etat. Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Siana planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Four seemingly random victims to start. The virtues their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions, ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Siana murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From an inborn penchant for evil? Yes, yes, and yes. All those make sense, and none are mutually exclusive. Can only guess what drove Siana. Luckily, Anna Henrietta is safe now. I believe we may dare to assume so. Siana's death was also the death of the Duchess's only natural rival. She is in no danger, for now. Pretty rare thing for a ruler. What do we do now? Now we drink. Unless, that is, you feel a witchly duty to see the Duchess and tell her what we just learned? <sighs> Think this might be something Anna Henrietta should know. As you wish. I shall await you at Mare La Long, a mug of mandrake brew to keep me company. Not coming with? No. After the horror Detlaf brought down upon the city, and in light of Siana's death, I think it wiser not to appear at the palace. Probably right. See you later then. Before heading to the palace, you might wish to see if Anna Henrietta is not at the city cemetery. She spent a great deal of time at her sister's grave these last days. You shoo away the beast, sugar lips. Oh! Why have you come? Forgotten already? The murderer you were to kill lives, while the Duquesa's sister lies dead. Wouldn't have come if I didn't have to, promise you that. But I've learned something, something that might interest Anna Henrietta. Hmm. Forgive me if I lend no credence to your word. Found a letter Siana wrote to the murderer. Hmm. Very well. You may enter.
But I make no promises as regards the Duquesa. She mourns her sister in the Ducal Crypt. Viscount de Lettenhof is with her. Remember, my dear Honorietta, despair is like a stormy sky. Sooner or later, the sun must drive away the clouds. That is easy for you to say. The one murdered was not your sister. My life hasn't exactly been a bed of roses. Uh, true, my sister wasn't murdered. Don't even have a sister, actually, but many times I've lost. Ugh, unimportant. Your Grace. The impudence you must harbor to come in here after all that's happened. Calm down. I'm sure Geralt's got a very good reason. Right, Geralt? Before you start dumping accusations on me, I think you should know something. Sienna, she was a vicious, wicked woman. Who are you to tell me who my own sister was? I'm the man you hired to investigate the Beast of Beauclair. And I found a letter your sister wrote to the murderer. Really? Maybe you should read it then. It could be important. You read it, Dantelai. Aloud to me. This time you must see to our Duquesa. Anna Henrietta knows nothing of empathy. Her heart is cold. This shard of ice you must tear from her breast. My sister could never have written that. Got proof she did. No. I don't believe you. I don't believe it. Someone seeks to blacken her in my eyes. I won't allow it. There, there, Honorietta. Don't get upset. The letter is vile. It's slander. You must destroy it. Do you hear? No one else must ever read it. Ever. Consider it done. And you, out. Get out of here. This is all you're doing. Be gone, hear me. I never wish to see you again. I shall never believe she did this. She was not capable. This is an outrage, Dandelion. Tell him it's not true. Tell him it's a dirty lie. Geralt, get out of here, please. The Duchess, she needs to be alone. As to her enlightened highness, didn't go great. Got the full kaleidoscope of her emotional states. Spun through it at an impressive pace, too. Am I to understand she didn't throw her arms about you and shower you with thanks for saving her from her murderous sister? Got that right. I don't blame her, though. Luckily, Dandelion was there to smooth things over. Somewhat. As you know, I had little sympathy for Sienna. Nonetheless, I very much regret I could not keep her safe. To you, her ultimate fate, does it still bring on the occasional pang of regret? Yeah. Still. Well then. Drink up. Always seemed a very complex creature to me, by your very nature. Not one to go in for simple methods like drinking your worries away? I fear there are worries for which, quite simply, there is no other medicine. Beauclair seems safe now, though I'm still left wondering. I mean, Detloff's alive. Think Anna Henrietta's still in danger? No. He had a score to settle with Sienna. By his reckoning, he did just that. He has no reason to attack anyone else or to remain in Beauclair any longer. Sure hope so. Though in his boots I'd regret having to go. Place is just plain beautiful, damn it. Mm. 
Mmm, supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning, then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home, on the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? <sighs> a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? Uh, don't really know yet. Might find the life of a hard-working vintner too tempting one day. Or maybe I'll just stick to the path, go on roaming, staring up at the stars after laying my bedroll at the roadside. Ah, roadsides, bedrolls, and the sky above. I sense some poetry coming on, which of course brings to mind Dandelion. I can remember a night, not too far from here if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? We just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. But that first stay in Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellars too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances, like Mamoons and Dopplers, deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. What about you now? Got a plan? I do. I must find Detlaf. Help him. I certainly owe him that much. Vampire friendships. Clear rules. Must be nice. Do I detect a note of sarcasm? Not at all. <sighs> I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do. Master Witcher, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. What's that smell? You look good. Calm. Don't just stand there. I want a hug. What did you bring? A Garkin from Angren. I slew it. All by my lonesome. That why you left Carrera so suddenly? Had no idea where you'd gone. Your note was puzzling. Don't try to find me. Threw me for a loop. That was silly. It's just that I felt stifled in your shadow. I'd have suffocated had I stayed. So when I read that notice, the contract, when I saw Angren, I knew I had to do it. Alone. Without my nanny. I'm not your nanny. 
I believe in you. <laughs> like my new house? The house is lovely, but it could use a bit of work. Yeah, got plans for it, don't worry. Wanna go outside? Could show you the grounds. Ah, oh, it's lovely here. I could stay forever. Nah, come on. You wouldn't like it. Why not? Get bored mighty quick. There's nothing here. It's peaceful, quiet, not a bloodthirsty beast in sight. After that Garkin in Angrin, I believe I deserve a little rest. Indeed you do, mademoiselle, as my major domo would say. <laughs> You've a butler? A steward. Name's Barnabas Basil. BB for short, though I don't know if he likes it. He's the one let you in. I'll ask him to bring in some fruit, a beverage. You can spend the rest of the day lying about. Ah, oh, nothing would make me happier. Being a witch or anything like you imagined? Geralt, I didn't have to imagine anything. Remember, before we parted, we walked a good stretch of the path together. Journeyman and master, though, not the same thing. I'm still a long way from mastering anything, but I am trying. Anyway, I did learn from the best. Just passed on what worked for me, or at least tried to. I was thinking of Eskel and Lambert. <laughs> so, no regrets? Choice you made? Not at all. I'm doing what I ever wanted to do. Being who I wanted to be. I believe that's one definition of happiness. Encountered the most charming aspect of being a witcher yet? Which aspect is that? The hatred. Disgust. That strange blend of admiration, fear and contempt. Hmm. They set their hounds on me in one village. In another, they forbade me from taking a drink from their well. Other than that, it's been all right. No one's tried to cheat me out of my reward so far. I'd hoped they'd treat a woman differently. Geralt, when they treat a woman differently in this world, it hardly ever means better. Quite the opposite. Angrin, how'd it go? Garkanes can be pretty tough opponents. That's why I had to lure this one to a place both spacious and empty, where it would have nowhere to hide. I found an abandoned crypt far from any town or village. Good choice. Always best to avoid additional casualties, so your foe had nowhere to hide. But the bastard was still damn quick, I bet. <laughs> Not as quick as I am. My greater worry was its strength. I was far outclassed there. But a dose of black blood did the trick. We fought a while, I feigned a mistimed dodge and let it drink. The rest was easy. See you later, Siri. Take care of yourself. Do you think her grace's nerves have been calmed? Lambert rarely forgets, rarely retracts what she says, especially not the events. Yes, well, even I must admit Dead Love's actions were highly inappropriate. Reprehensible, even. Are you upset? Why would I be? Hmm, let's see. You're returning from your hunt empty-handed. No trophy. No new lead to boast of, then pursue. 
Upset's just not a sensation I feel. Ever. Mutations, remember? Hmm, yes, of course. The excuse you resort to whenever you'd rather not talk about something. Observant of you. So let's change the subject. How do your employers customarily react when you fail to meet their expectations? <sighs> Depends. Peasants cuss me out. Merchants demand I refund their deposit, whereas nobles mostly just release their hounds. And rulers? Usually threaten me with the gallows. A most illustrious grace awaits the gentleman. Your grace, the population demands she be punished. Sion has committed terrible crimes. Spilt so much blood. They... Another word, Palmerin, and I shall spill even more blood. Yours. I repeat for the last time. Siana is responsible for the death of many. True. But she is also my sister. We are bound by blood and by a shared childhood. I shall not allow her to be lynched. Your Grace, I fear the masses might rise. Storm the prison. Pitchforks and torches in hand. Let them storm. They will not find her there. Siana is hidden away in a safe place. She shall await trial there until we have rid ourselves of this accursed vampire. Which, to judge by your means, has not yet come to pass. Did what we could, but... My patience is at an end, Geralt. Where is he? Where is Detlaf? We're working to find that out, Your Grace. Do you take me for a fool? I... wouldn't dare. I care not one whit what you have worked on, are working on, or shall work on. I'm interested in results, which thus far have been nil. Ah. At times, I hunt foxes. Do you know how it works? The ducal huntsman releases the hounds, they catch the fox's scent, chase the animal down, and lead the bachu to it. All within an hour. You, Witcher, have had a week, the aid of my most excellent knights, yet you have tracked absolutely nothing down. I've begun to suspect my beagles might have done a better job. Then perhaps your grace should have sent a beagle instead of a witcher after the vampire. <gasps> you tread on thin ice, witcher. Very thin. Wisdom demands you choose your words more cautiously. But to the matter at hand. Have you managed to establish anything? Your grace... It seems Siana tricked Detlaf, used him to murder the knights who escorted her into exile. We have reason to believe that... Your Grace! Vampires! What? Speak now! Vampires! Oh, they protect the city! Captain de la Tour defends the square near the boat landing, but... So many lives lost! Damn it. If it's war this Detlef wants, it's war he shall have. Geralt, get to work. This time I'll hear no excuses. Palmer in you. Get her out of here.
Siana failed to appear as summoned. And there. Detloff is not making idle threats. Seems not. Need to make some serious plans of our own now. It's gone too far, damn it. Regis, you mentioned there was a way to draw Detloff out. A way you've avoided resorting to so far because you thought it was too dangerous. Is that how I put it? Do forgive me, that I've misled you terribly. The word dangerous is simply a scandalous understatement in this case. Regis, another inner monologue growing out of a personal dilemma. Just tell me how to flush Detloff out, force him to meet, please. In due course. But first, Geralt, I'd like you to consider the alternative. After all, you could fulfill Detloff's demand and liberate his beloved Siana. Think Detloff still believes Siana's innocent? I believe he suspects something. He must. And he seeks to understand what happened. And for that, he's declared war on the entire duchy? What can I say? Moderation was never his strong suit. Really want to free Siana? Hand her over to Dedloff? Refuse to accept you consider that wise. It's hard to believe, I know. But Dedloff is not actually evil, merely impulsive. He needs but meet with her, speak with her, and he will spare the city. Hmm. So say I agree to this, because I might. Still no chance Anna Henrietta will. I do not recall ever suggesting we ask her permission. The meeting. What if it's nothing like you say? What if it goes sour, ends in a fight? Willing to guarantee Siana won't get hurt? It seems unlikely in the extreme that... Didn't ask for a lecture on probability. Need a simple answer. Yes or no. I vow that not a hair on her head shall come to any harm. Got serious reservations about this plan. Not least among them, we have no idea where Siana's being held. You heard the Duchess. She's not at the prison. Hardly a reservation. More of an excuse. I'm certain you'll find her. You must merely decide you wish to. Hmm. Could ask Damien. Duchess treats him like a lapdog. Keeps him close most times. He might know something more. There, you see? I knew you'd think of something. Bravo. I trust I've dispelled your doubts, then. Not so fast. We're not done talking. How would I go about luring Detloff out of hiding if I wanted to? With the blood of a virgin? You see, somewhere nearby lives an unusual denizen. One of the unseen, ancient and powerful vampires. Among the oldest and strongest. Mm-hmm, and? Tusa is this unseen elder's territory. All vampires owe him fealty while they are here. He need but say the word, designate a time and place, and Detloff will be forced to appear. So this unseen elder, how do we convince him to summon Dedlaf? We must find him first. The elder does not see arrivals unless he absolutely must. But locals, Oriana, for instance, you know, she too is a... Yeah, figured it out. All right, let's say she gets me in to see the unseen elder. What then? I don't know. You'll have to improvise, I suppose. Hmm. So I'm basically stuck. Either gotta give in to a blackmailer, or fight him. You know what I would opt for? Should we free Siana and arrange for her to meet with Detlaf? There's a good chance we'll all survive this ordeal. Detlaf included. Regis, don't mean to put you on the spot, but I gotta know. Say I do decide to fight Detlaf. Who'll you stand with? Should you decide your sword is the sole solution, I shall not stand in your way. Appreciate it. Certainly hope so. Now, please tell me, what is it you intend to do? Sorry, Regis, but folk have died. Got no time to lose. Especially not on some kind of peculiar therapy for bizarre couples. I see. Alas, you know what to do. You must see Oriana, ask her to introduce you to the Unseen Elder. She might agree. What'll you do? Now? Whatever I can to limit the number of human victims to a minimum. Should you learn where the Elder dwells, do whisper a word to the Ravens. I'll come and help. Even though that could mean you'll fight Detloff? Even though. Good luck, Gerald.
Faster! Slaughter! Clement soon it's smashed. Kosma is dead. What of Captain Damien? What is his hold up? Barricade the But they'll not keep the march long. somewhere very much so now be kind enough to step aside chaos in the city know what's going on naturally it's rather irritating bloodbath in the streets that's irritating I'd probably use a stronger term well you know I'm getting on in years not easily impressed takes a bit more to get me worked up yeah, I suppose empathy's not something I associate with vampires. I suspected you would guess. Wasn't hard. Not like you tried hard to hide it. Should I have? Well, I am a witcher. And thus my foe? That depends entirely on you. Need to, uh, see your unseen. Convince him to stop Deadlaf. Heard you could help me with that. <laughs> my, my. It seems my dear Regis needs to be reprimanded. He's become rather indiscreet. And you, there are simpler ways to commit suicide. 
A number of bridges you could jump off, for instance. Just want to talk to him. <laughs> talk. Lovely. He'll rend your head from your neck. Make shreds of you before you can open your mouth. Let me worry about that. Willing to do it or not? Hmm. I, too, would prefer a city calmed. But to reveal so dear a secret to a witcher... Know what? Come with me. I must tend to a certain matter. Then, we'll talk. Oriana, I don't have time for that. Folk are dying and... And I'm about to mount my horse, so either ride with me, or finish this moving monologue alone. Damn it. <sighs> Fine. Where are we going? Not far. You see, I maintain a kind of shelter just outside Beauclair. O an orphanage, to be precise. I've heard the birds whisper. They claim a terrible thing's happened there. Under the present circumstances, I must treat this seriously. I'm sure you understand. Mm-hmm. Perfectly. Let's go. Must cost a small fortune maintaining this place. What can I do? I have a weakness for children. Meaning? Meaning that I... Wait. Smell that. Blood. What happened? Where's Arno? Speak. Shh. shh. Oh, the, the, the mon monster walker come. Easy, little man. You're safe now. I was so scared. So, so scared. Of what? You can tell us. Take your time. I... I w woke up because of the bells. Then the screams. I pulled the quilt over my head so I wouldn't hear. But... They were so loud. And... Something began pounding on the roof. Boom, boom, louder and louder. Then... Uncle Arno came and said, sit quiet, real quiet, shh, shh, and you'll be all right. The whole son abandoned them, left them, and ran away. What happened then? Bartes, Neve, Mora, and some others. They ran out. My sister Anna and me, we hid right here in the room. But Anna... She began to cry. I covered her mouth, whispered, Shh, shh, shh. Held her long. Till she stopped. You mean to say you... Drop it. Who's this Arno? The Guardian. He ran the orphanage with his wife. For a generous fee. I don't see them. Can't hear or smell them either. They fled. Left the children behind as bait. Uncle Arno told us to be quiet as mice, and the monster wouldn't come, but it did. It came. Think I know enough. As do I. Something killed my children. I'll stay with the boy. He shouldn't be left alone again. You, you track down this scum. Bring me its head, and I'll help you with the unseen. Fine. See if I can't find a lead. Excellent. Go on, get to work. Come, little one. I'll sing to you. Oh, 
was asleep in midst the trees, but saw the swaying in the breeze. But when soul lies anxious, wide awake, fearing all manner of ghouls, hags, and wraiths. Just wide awake, fearing no man of ghouls might invade. Smashed against the wall, skull cracked, died immediately. Beast killed the children but didn't eat them. Something scare it off or grab its attention. Stomach wall cut open in three places, damaged organs, arteries. Shoulder and neck wounds. Monster attacked from above. Jumped off the roof, I bet. Throat ripped open. Larynx crushed. Paw prints. Bipedal beast. Walks hunched over. Hasn't even dried. <sighs> Smells not blood. Need to investigate. Sliced aorta. Fang marks alongside, but they're old, scarred over. of suspects. Venom glands, long claws, a bloodsucker. Must be a Garcane, a pack leader, an alpha. The Garcane's killing's a pleasure. Kids just whet its appetite. Must have gone after the Guardians too. Mm -hmm. Garcane and wagon tracks merge. Wonder if the beast caught up. Roach! are bad. At least it didn't suffer long. Shredded her, then licked up her blood. Every last drop. God can't eat its fill here. Probably holed up nearby to digest.
ever fight a witcher, you piece of shit. Release him. Now. I thought it would take you longer. It will. Still not done. Got one more thing to tend to. You. The orphanage. Your wine cellar, right? A larder for blood. I never said I helped these children out of the kindness of my heart. Go outside, little man, and lock the door behind you. No! Don't hurt her! Lady Oriana took care of us. She took us off the street, brought us sweets, sang to us. Leave her be! You see, Witcher, the world's not black and white. It's shades of all kinds. I drank from the children, true but never so much as to kill, and I gave them a great deal in return. I run into dilemmas all the time, situations where it's hard to judge, hard to know what's right, make a decision. This is not one of them. You disgust me and deserve to die. But? I'm in a hurry and you're hiding behind a child. So you'll live this time. I'm letting you. Did what you asked. Children slaughters the work of a Garkane. One of those summoned by Dedlaf. Probably supposed to attack the city. Children sent lured it here. Yes. It carries quite away. Its sweetness teases the nose. Gets the mouth watering. Unseen Elder. Where'll I find him? Talk. His lair lies west of the city, across the lake. Look for a cave near the shoreline, and this stone will open a hidden door. Not gonna take me there? I visit the Elder only when I absolutely must. You'll know why once you meet him. I'll come back for you one day. You realize that, right? Hmm, then I shall keep an eye out for you. I'm to 
summon Regis. Slip a word to the birds, he said. So, I'll be at the boat landing near the palace, waiting for Regis there. Mind telling him? You've met with Oriana. How did it go? Not well. Oh. Did she not divulge where you might find the Unseen? No, she did. Also divulged her hunger for the blood of small children. Well, I admit I'd heard rumors, but... I preferred to lend them no credence. Rather not talk about it. Caves west of town, other side of the lake. That's where we need to go. I see. Well, I'm prepared to set out at any time, but... Yeah, I know. You'd still prefer to free Sienna, for Dedloff's sake. For the sake of you both. Oh, please. Orphanage, what happened there? His fault, plain and simple. City gutters are overflowing with blood, that's his doing too. And you're worried somebody might have hurt his feelings? To meet the Unseen Elder is to face mortal danger. I've said so all along and never in jest. You are a friend, a dear friend. I'd rather you not risk your neck unnecessarily. I think it's natural, I think it's obvious. Obviously natural. Especially when we've an alternative. An entirely reasonable one. I'm a witcher, Regis. I don't cut deals with monsters. I cut monsters down. And I don't give a damn about the risks. Hmm. Well, I understand. I'll not mention it again. Thanks. Time we were on our way. Listen, I need to sail there. Coming with, or would you rather float over as a puff of fog? I'd not be able to talk as a puff. And, as you know, talking is something I very much like to do. Mm-hmm. At length and in detail. Let's go. about this unseen elder? Only that he takes unkindly to guests, especially the unannounced. Oh, joy. Got a plan? Some idea how to appease him? Mm -hmm. The custom when meeting an unseen elder is to bestow upon him a stone symbolizing peace. Yet this type of stone occurs only in Harkland. Take it you're fresh out. Alas, just so. Thus, I fear we must rely on my personal charm. Where'd the Unseen's hatred of social calls come from? Folk forget to wipe their boots, and get sick of sweeping up all the time? Hmm. It's somewhat more complex. Tell me slowly. Don't use complicated words and I might just understand. I don't doubt your intelligence, but... Well, it's just hard to explain to a human. This world is a foreign land to us. Unpleasant. Hostile even. The Elder does what he can to isolate, protect himself. We, as all guests, hinder him in this endeavor. I'll fly ahead. Reconnoitre a bit.
Geralt, over here. Ahem. <clears throat> Might I suggest you use Oriana's key? It worked. And a good thing, too. I'd be hard pressed to see through this gate of the modern fog. What's inside? Know what to expect? Hmm. Vampires? Funny. Be close. How can you tell? Listen. Don't hear a thing. <laughs> Not one rat, one bat. Dead quiet. As I said, he despises guests. Nats atranes, avile clever regis etu. Not one step further. Yes, you have walked your last.
Damn it. That was close. Elder will kill me even if I get out of here, unless I think of something quick. there, unless I could give myself a boost. That stream flowing upwards? Strange. Clearly worth a look.
to. survived. Didn't stand a chance. something. An offering for the unseen. Damn, I could use something like that. Must be the offering for the unseen. This to the unseen elder, he won't kill me. At least not my way. First, tip will fly upwards if it breaks off. Just gotta collapse the base. That should do the trick. discover his talkative side. Etzelthi, Laut Niyama. You live. Barely. You're not attacking. That mean you'll hear me out? Perhaps speak. cave I came out of? What was that place? There lies the gate between this world and ours. It is closed, but it shall open once more. In one hundred of years. Two hundred. Three. Ask or 
I will kill you. Hear about Detloff. He's... I know who he is. What of him? He's sicked a swarm of lesser vampires on the city. I have to stop him. But I do not. Help me, and I'll return the favor. <laughs> you help me? How? Depends on you. I'm not just some human. I'm... You are no one. I ask for the last time. Why should I care about death left? Why should I help you? Sooner or later, Detloff will bring trouble. Serious trouble. How? As Kagmar brought trouble before. Folk will take him down, eventually. Might need a year, or two, or a decade, but they'll find a way. And then they'll go after other vampires. And eventually, they'll find you. And I should fear... Death? No. But that'll be the end of your peace, your quiet. Knights errant, mages, they'll come here day in, day out. One already managed to teleport here. Others will follow, you can be sure. You'll kill them, of course, so they'll flood these caves. Or bring in sappers from Mahakam and collapse them. No. This place must be secure. The gate. <gasps> what? Is your plan? Detloff. We have to convince him to spare the city. Will he? <sighs> Probably not. Yet we must try nonetheless. If there is a fight, if you help kill him... I will be anathema. This I know. And still I ask you to summon Detloff. Where? Teshem Mudna. Go. Once I sent you there, I will summon Detlath. I thank you. Leave me. That went better than I expected it would. Think that went better than... You kidding? I'd have been dead on the spot if not for my slowed metabolism. And yet you survived. Though you are risking your life. The question is why? This contract, it goes well beyond what witches customarily handle. I cannot abandon the matter. For Detlaf and I are bound by blood, but you... You could simply walk away. So why, my friend? Why stay and risk your hide? Been on the path so long, I, I don't really know anymore. Guess I'm looking for the road's end. Perhaps you should simply step off it. I'll think about it, once this is over. All your unseen that... Uh, welcoming. No, they vary. Some are conceited, others imperious, but most can be reasoned with. But him, it was clear each word was a great effort. Interacting with others, it seems it 
causes him physical pain. Never entered my mind that the conjunction of the spheres was also a cataclysm for you, for... Monsters, no euphemism required. You needn't seek one. I dare say it was worse for us. You arrived by the thousands. We were but a handful. Not much choice. Assimilate with you, or shut ourselves off from the world. Like him. Cave I was tossed into. That where the gate between worlds is? In a sense, yes. Just slammed shut, sealed tight. Think it'll ever open again? Think you'll be able to go home? I sincerely doubt it. And I think, in truth, the Elder knows that as well. So why would he stay down there? What's the real reason? Hmm. To stay with the gate analogy, no door is ever completely impermeable. Smells come through, for instance. And when the wind rises, some dust might be blown through the cracks. A palpable trace of things on the other side. It's not much, but it is something. And you? How do you feel now, where you are? Geralt, imagine the least comfortable situation you could ever find yourself in. What would it be? I don't mean a moment of pain with death knocking at your door. Just a circumstance of great unease. All right. In that case, a court banquet. Gotta show up in hose and a tight doublet. Gotta smile at everyone and engage in vacuous conversation while Dandelion sings a ballad about me and Yennefer for all to hear. Very well. Now imagine you're stuck there. Not for an hour, not for an evening, but for all time. And should you fall out of character for but a moment, should you so much as scratch yourself where the stitching chafes all around you will scream, monster, monster, and they'll turn on you and tear you to shreds. Sounds tiring. Damn tiring. I couldn't have put it better myself. Time to summon Detloff. <sighs> yes. High time. Uh, do... do you wish to go to Tesha Mutna right away? Let's go. Wanna get this over with. Nice place. Isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. Shame the reason why we came here. Yes, quite the shame. Are you angry with me? For not freeing Siana? For not trying to resolve this peacefully? Hmm, a bit. Though... Perhaps I was fooling myself, latching on to the notion because I badly wished to believe there was some way to fix everything. However, matters have simply gone too far. I must come to terms with that. Regis, let the Unseen Elder know we've arrived. Have him summon Deadlaugh.
couldn't manage to find me, so you forced a meeting. Why? You know why. I've tired of guessing your human thoughts. So articulate them or leave me be. I understand your anger, but you need to stop the attacks in the city immediately. My conditions are clear. I wish to see Rello. I wish to see Siana. Yet she is not here. You know why. The Duchess would not release her. So the Duchess must face the consequences. Detlef, please. All this for one woman. You understand nothing. Let us be done with this.
him to me. Be gone. I can't let him. I insist. a smashing ensemble. You wear it well. Shut up. I look like a twit. The caftan is sewn of the best fabrics available, and according to the best tailoring practices. But one must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. Usually wear something different, better suited to my trade. Got nothing against this particular outfit, though. Just don't exactly feel comfortable in it. And I despise formal occasions. Hmm. Nothing one can't get accustomed to. Now, be so kind as to stand still. All that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera, demands appropriate attire. The Duchess cannot be expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud. Palace protocol places enormous emphasis on form, virtuous tradition, etiquette. Huh. A tradition which values appearances ahead of all else. Which calls for lordly, glistening triviality and misplaced generosity. Sound wistful. Pensive, Regis. That because they refuse to buy you a new outfit? Hardly. It's the tone I ever adopt when I find myself pondering, which, believe it or not, happens quite a lot. Besides, I've no need for a new outfit as I shall not be attending the ceremony. Why not? Because unlike you, I don't have to. I shall begin to pack my belongings instead. I trust you'll join me later, once you're richer by a medal and a fascinating new experience? Count on it. Hmm. Ceremonies. Medals honoring virtues. Just keeps coming up. I've had no reprieve either. And I keep thinking of the last great virtue, compassion. It's the one piece of the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues theory? After all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her, surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. Her plans don't matter now. Can't act on them. Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. Do you care not a whit who else was in her black book? We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot-cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victim's names to Detlaf. Perhaps we missed something. Regis, Bootblack didn't say anything about making deliveries when we talked to him. How do you know he handled the letters? While you basked in glory and tried on new formal wear, I conducted a little investigation of my own. You'd be very proud to see how I conducted myself. I began by concocting an ample supply of boot wash for our enterprising young friend. I'd observed that among street folk, amidst their society as a whole, reciprocity takes precedence over all other codes, and thus no good deed goes unrewarded. Of course, 
The same holds true for malicious or destructive deeds. The letters. What's the connection? When the boot black arrived to collect his bucketful, he hinted he knew more. Simply put, we'd failed to ask the proper questions when we chatted earlier. It took a bit more tongue loosening, but ultimately he spoke. He admitted he'd handed Detlaf the letters. He knew this information was valuable to me. In providing it, he was simply repaying me. All in all, why not check up on that? We'll go together. Assuming we're done here. I am done, yes. It lies in your hands now to see if you are able to present my handiwork at the ceremony with the dignity it is due. Or if you will first destroy it, crawling about the city's underbelly. Promise to be careful. Oh, it's the swordsman! Good to see you. Here for a spiffing? Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Step on up! Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on then. I'm a proponent of free speech and I will gladly tell you all I know. But why not get your boots shanked while we jabber? Guess they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the souls that wear them. Clean boots, clean souls. A fine slogan. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beggars brought them. Beggars? Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. It was different. Some had mismatched boots, others had no boots at all. Oh, I know. They all had no home. Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Where'd they get the letters? They picked them up? Get them from someone? I don't know. They'd come, hand me a letter, and walk away. I asked no questions. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that boot shine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. We must visit the shelter. Look around inside. You've to move your little camp elsewhere, got it? This is a decent district. We need no filth folk flying about. Gentles, there's no need to raise your voices. Let's keep our calm. Our calm is exactly what you disturb. You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Scram! Decent folk live here. The shelter, them living here, bothers you. Question is why. Look, Ballard. Another defender of the poor, fighter for justice. Damn nuisance. We for our women and young folk living next door, when even grown men fear to walk past such rabble. Decent folk you mention. Mean yourselves. Why? Do you doubt it? Hell yes. Hear that, Artois? He poking insults us. On our own turf. We should step aside, good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. No. running about down. I almost dumped my guts. <laughs> Not 
the Witcher. Take a hint. Come, time to go. I thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk, the shelter, elsewhere. They dislike that I help the beggars. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to aid you. What is this place? Poor house? You could call it that. They come here to rest and eat a hot meal. You help them, why? Because they need help. Need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Garl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently, or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait, they'll all soon come for their meal. You can question them yourselves. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve this soup. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romain? Why should I squeal? We were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me, Romain. You were given a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romain. Thank you. Who else? I got the one too. I gave it to the boot black. And Freshy, he got one. But he can't tell you. As he's not here. I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the Feast of St. Barnabas. It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over, or I'll take it from you, plain and simple. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said, and she was frightening. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. This man helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. What is it? Another name, truly? See for yourself. Well, well. I... I must say, even I did not expect this. This time you will see to our Duquesa. It seems we underestimated Siana rather grossly. Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling. Puzzle complete now. Alas, the matter ceased to be a tantalizing brain tease and has turned incredibly grave. We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'etat. 
Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Siana planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Four seemingly random victims to start. The virtue's their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions, ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Siana murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From an inborn penchant for evil? Yes, yes and yes. All seem likely, and none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you could always ask her yourself. Actually, love to learn her motives. Praiseworthy, I suppose. Sometimes one should stare evil in the face. Seems a bit strong, no? She used my friend as her tool for killing. I believe I've every right to condemn her. But I support your lust for the truth. Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment. Much harsher. Think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her. Coming with? Of course not. I shall await you at Mayor Lachey's Long. I'll not risk entering the palace after Detlaf and his minions' rampage. Besides, I vastly prefer the company of a simple mug of mandrake brew to that of the Duchess's vile sister. So, said straight up, it means you're going off to get drunk because you hate Siana. I've never been fond of categorical statements of that kind, but I admit I could not vouch for my behavior in her presence. She treated Detlaf cruelly, caused his death in the end, and now this, atop all that, no, Geralt. I will not go with you. I will await you at the cemetery. Come on now. Halt! Need to see Siana, urgently. In the matter of? Need to interrogate her. New facts have come to light. Need them explained. Seeing she was planning your Duquesse's assassination. Ah! Fine, then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Then you've my permission, but only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief. The witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Hey, Siana. Sorry to intrude, but I gotta ask you something. I've nothing to say to you. You're the one who put me in here. Have you forgotten? Sure, but you are here. So what's the harm in talking? Got something better to do? What do you want? Be brief. This cell. 
Downright cozy. Second time you've been incarcerated in altogether pleasant conditions. Always seem to land on your feet. I wouldn't say that. I get no privacy here. But it is clean, because I cleaned it. They do say cleaning can be relaxing. It isn't. It's a horrible, thankless task. But I'm not one to leave anything undone. For instance, before I left Nazer, I also tidied my room. Even made my bed. I knew I'd never return. But I despise leaving unfinished business. Messes. Loose ends. Dogged determination. Guess that's admirable. I was praised for it as a little girl. Only for that, in fact. Went to a place where Beauclair's beggars congregate. Found proof that you'd planned your sister's demise. Anna Henrietta. She was Dedloff's ultimate target from the start. Your target. Bravo, Witcher. I congratulate you on your deductive reasoning skills. But what I'd planned has nothing to do with you. Wrong. Has everything to do with me. You were hired to kill the beast. Said beast is dead. So go collect your metal and leave me alone. Why must you meddle in everything? Just like to know what's going on around me. Can't stand confusion, unexplained situations. Have you come to ask me what drives me? What my motives are? Actually came hoping to learn something. It's clear you are out for vengeance. Against those who drove you from the palace? Curse of the Black Sun. That was their reason, right? It's certainly what they claimed. They said I was dangerous. A mutant. Knights, Crespi, Dulac, Delacroix, and Peyrac Perrin. They got the task of whisking me away. Abandoning me outside the Duchy's borders. They were following orders. So they were. Though they did so eagerly. Especially when I tried to flee. Crespi beat me unconscious with a whip. The others stood by and watched. Peyron found ample opportunity to take his frustrations out on me. While Dulac and Delacroix insulted me. Mocked me. I swore then I would never forget. I would find them. Find them all. Didn't have it easy. Give you that much. Still no excuse for what you did. I didn't expect you to understand. I need no sympathy. Not from you. Not from anyone. I regret nothing. If I could turn back time, I'd not decide otherwise at any juncture. They all deserve to be punished. My sister, most of all. Enough. Your visit's done. Ah, oh, thank the stars. Commander de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Let's go. Wanna see him too. Damien. Geralt! It's about time! Ready for the ceremony? Your face... doesn't look good. What the hell happened? The city was attacked. Surely you don't imagine I could stand and watch it all from some ivory tower. Got some important information. Anna Henrietta was supposed to be Detloff and Siana's fifth victim. You are certain of this? Completely. Found proof. Inconceivable. How could she? The murders, the mayhem she brought down on the city, were they not enough? She sought to strike down her own sister, her liege, traitor. I must alert my men, enlarge the Duchess's honor guard, 
Make certain Sylvia Anna is closely watched during the questioning. I'll see to it personally. I thank you, Witcher, for alerting me, and I appreciate your attentiveness. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. In the Guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your Grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, slayer of the beast of Beauclair, step forth. <coughs> We bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the Ducal table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? I am. And truly grateful, Your Grace. Sadly, I'm afraid I have to sour the mood. It's Sianna. She plotted to have you killed, Duchess. Planned to use Dedloff. You were to be the Beast's fifth victim. This cannot be true. You're mistaken. You must be. I have proof. I do not believe it. In a moment I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, yet what you tell me now I find devastating. I've come to doubt that I can judge her fairly. I'd far prefer to learn you're mistaken, Geralt. I'm not. In fact, I'd recommend you be particularly careful around her. You exaggerate, Witcher. She is my sister. I know well how to speak to her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in.
The Witcher will take part in our talk. The Duchess requested I be present. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Nor does it let me believe you sought my demise. My heart yearns to know you were swayed by the monster Detlaf. You yourself would never stoop so low. Thus I have asked Geralt to advise me, as one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. Your Grace, as head of state, you should look first and foremost after your dominion. Siana's actions, what drove them, be damned. She's a threat to your subjects. You are correct. They are what matters. I must not forget this. Siana, you shall be tried and given a fitting punishment. Yet we shall never cease to be family. As Duchess, I shall have to judge you. But as your sister, I shall never stop loving you. Will you forgive me? I shall never forgive you. some flowers, a wreath, or... I've none. Sold everything. I was just on my way out. No sense hanging about with nothing to do. Should come as no shock, sir. Had the funeral. Folk took it all. Men, women, children. All wished to lay a bouquet on the Duchess's grave. Wind flowers, peonies, gladioli. But she liked common roses best. I know, her ladies in waiting would come here at times. I'd choose the loveliest blooms for her. Fragrant, big petals, the kind that last a long time. Ah, I've still not come to terms with it. To be killed by her own sister. How could it happen? Anna Henrietta wanted to believe there was still hope for Siana, that she'd show remorse. She reached a hand out to her. Too soon. Too trusting. Oh, I know you. You're that witcher from the north. The one that saved us from the beast. Mm-hmm. Could say that. Wait here. Take these. I thought you were out of flowers. I put a bouquet aside. I was to take it to her myself. But you have it. I know you held the Duchess dear. How much do I owe you? Not a copper. Keep your coin and raise a toast in her memory tonight. Do just that. Farewell.
fruitful hunt to you, Witcher. I'm my own master with a bottle in front of me. It's no disaster, not like a frontal love button. Banquets and wine are rather suited for pleasant mirth. Lass in one crypt with the Duchess. It's not decent. Matter or no, she was the Duchess's sister. Shared her blood. She should lie with her kin. Witcher, I was certain you'd departed. Couldn't. Anna Henrietta was... Wondrous. Beautiful. Good. The best ruler one could hope to have. Yet I let her down. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one expected Siana to do that, persist to the end. And none of us did anything to stop her. Because there was nothing we could do. Uh, I suppose you are right. But when someone so beloved dies, one cannot help but search one's soul for blame. And even the hardiest knights grow faint-hearted then. Come to pay my respects. Bid the Duchess farewell. White roses. They were her favorite. Go inside then. She lies in the ducal crypt. In one room with her murderer. Despite my protests. What? Who decided that? The Regent's Council. A pack of old men who've statutes and codices for hearts. Ducal blood flowed in Siana's veins, and she was never legally disinherited. So they ruled she should lie alongside Anarieta. Stylish crypt, quite subdued. Yes, this is the kind of eternal resting place I dream of. Moments like this, I never know if you're joking or serious. Serious, Geralt, serious. It's remarkably peaceful, subtly charming to the hilt. A perfect match for the Duchess's dignity. Ah, you humans, you'll never cease to amaze me. To feel despair in the face of natural processes to which you are predestined. I've come to take you from this place, my friend. Dare say you deserve a speck of respite after the mad whirl of the last few days. I failed to prevent. Feel pretty awful right about now. Can't help thinking I could have done more. Now Toussaint's left without a ruler, or more accurately, chaos rules here. Hand in hand with despair. Duchess won over people's hearts. All Beauclair now weeps for her. 
A mass outburst of emotion? Well, it seems her subjects have adopted some of their recent ruler's traits. Why the sarcasm? Thought you liked Donna Henrietta. I did. And I do truly rue her passing. Me too. Then let us drink. Always seemed to me you were a very complicated creature by nature. Not one to resort to such simple methods like drinking your worries away. There exist worries for which they're quite simply. It's no other medicine. Whatever you say about Siona, you gotta admit she was unbending. That she was. I do admit it. Though in her case, it would have been better if she had been a tad more mm, philosophical, pausing from time to time to reflect on the propriety of her actions. True. How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? You decide to go root picking now? It's dark out. Ah, oh, Geralt. Even were I generously to assume it had simply slipped your mind that I am a vampire and thus need no light to see, I'd never believe you had also forgotten that you likewise have absolutely no trouble seeing in the dark. So, shall we? If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. This moonlight makes me oh so dreamy. Penny for your thoughts. Let me guess. Succubus twins? Uh, no, I was thinking about... Oh, how anything can look interesting when properly lit. Even an old necrophage corpse? You've not an ounce of refinement in you, have you? Now, where'd that bloodsucker go? Won't be easy to track down. He's a vampire after all. Regis! Damn it, where'd you go? Those Bruxae, they called you a traitor. Alas, we have a very simple code of honor, we vampires. So simple you might call it trivial. Either one is with us, 
unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or... Won't let it go, will they? They will not. Fortunately, we have another rule, an unwritten one, and just as trivial as the first. It is neatly summarized in the saying, out of sight, out of mind. That is why I must leave Toussaint, for a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. Oh, let us make for my camp. I have an overwhelming desire to have another drink. Mmm, supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning, then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home, on the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantel and take to pruning vines? Uh, don't really know yet. Might find the life of a hard-working vintner too tempting one day. Or maybe I'll just stick to the path, go on roaming, staring up at the stars after laying my bedroll at the roadside. Ah, roadsides, bedrolls, and the sky above. I sense some poetry coming on, which, of course, brings to mind Dandelion. I can remember a night, not too far from here, if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? We just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. But that first stay in Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellars too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances, like Mamoons and Dopplers, deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. What about you? Any idea where you'll go? Distance is of the essence. I thought I might venture south. Nilfgaard? Why ever not? The Nilfgaardians are a modern society. None there believe in vampires anymore. This fact alone could be very useful to one wishing to remain incognito. Hmm. Interesting point of view. <sighs> I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do.
to go home. Slow now. What do you get for all that work? A cook in your back. What's your on in years? Master Witcher, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. What's that smell? You look good. Calm. Don't just stand there. I want a hug. What did you bring? A Garkin from Angren. I slew it. All by my lonesome. That why you left Carrera so suddenly? Had no idea where you'd gone. Your note was... puzzling. Don't try to find me. Threw me for a loop. <laughs> that was silly. It's just that I felt... stifled in your shadow. I'd have suffocated had I stayed. So when I read that notice... The contract. When I saw Angren, I knew I had to do it. Alone. Without my nanny. I'm not your nanny. I believe in you. <laughs> like my new house? The house is lovely. But it could use a bit of work. Yeah. Got plans for it, don't worry. Wanna go outside? Could show you the grounds. Ah, oh, it's lovely here. I could stay forever. Nah, come on. You wouldn't like it. Why not? Get bored mighty quick. There's nothing here. It's peaceful, quiet. Not a bloodthirsty beast in sight. After that Garkin in Angren, I believe I deserve a little rest. Indeed you do, mademoiselle. As my major domo would say. <laughs> You've a butler? A steward. Name's Barnabas Basil. BB for short, though I don't know if he likes it. He's the one let you in. I'll ask him to bring in some fruit, a beverage. You can spend the rest of the day lying about. Ah, oh, nothing would make me happier. Being a witcher anything like you imagined? Geralt, I didn't have to imagine anything. Remember, before we parted, we walked a good stretch of the path together. Journeyman and master, though, not the same thing. I'm still a long way from mastering anything, but I am trying. Anyway, I did learn from the best. Just passed on what worked for me, or at least tried to. I was thinking of Eskel and Lambert. <laughs> so, no regrets? Choice you made? Not at all. I'm doing what I ever wanted to do. Being who I wanted to be. I believe that's one definition of happiness. Encountered the most charming aspect of being a witcher yet? Which aspect is that? The hatred. Disgust. That strange blend of admiration, fear and contempt. Hmm. They set their hands on me in one village. In another, they forbade me from taking a drink from their well. Other than that, it's been all right. No one's tried to cheat me out of my reward so far. 
I'd hoped they'd treat a woman differently. Geralt, when they treat a woman differently in this world, it hardly ever means better. Quite the opposite. Angrin, how'd it go? Garkanes can be pretty tough opponents. That's why I had to lure this one to a place both spacious and empty, where it would have nowhere to hide. I found an abandoned crypt far from any town or village. Good choice. Always best to avoid additional casualties, so your foe had nowhere to hide. But the bastard was still damn quick, I bet. <laughs> Not as quick as I am. My greater worry was its strength. I was far outclassed there. But a dose of black blood did the trick. We fought a while, I feigned a mistimed dodge and let it drink. The rest was easy. See you later, Siri. Take care of yourself. 